going to be showing you guys some really cool Brookhaven myths and hacks too, I guess. So let's hurry up and get started. For this very first one, we are going to find a secret room because a baddie like me loves secret rooms, okay? I gotta, you know, have places to hide to do all my dirty work. So I'm going to show you the very first little secret room where you could, I don't know, be mischievous and gorgeous like me. So you're going to want to go to a house plot and you're going to pick the underground house. This one right here so you get that okay now you go inside whenever it loads i can't believe my internet is so slow i still don't have a house okay once it's done the loading you're gonna want to go in there go through that door right there and go behind this tv in your living room once you go behind it you're gonna click that button and boom secret room baby with weapons and money exactly what a girl like me needs in her life you know i love money and weapons even my nails are weapons can't you see but yeah any Anyways, I don't know, maybe uh, you could use this room for who knows what, but to get out, all you gotta do is hit that green button up there and now you're able to get out. So that was the very first secret room, but trust me, these get way better as we go on. Like this next secret room is so amazing. So what you're gonna do is leave this crusty old house and go all the way to the crusty old hospital because in my opinion, the hospital is very crusty. It's right down there, we are almost there. And this secret room I'm gonna show you is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, so everybody knows that there's a room up there in that little hole and you can check it out if you want to It's really nothing special, but then the real one is in the x-ray room right here So go to the x-ray room and get behind this little skinny guy and get back here and walk through this wall Now this is not the secret room You're gonna keep going and you're gonna be here and there's a table with a note on it, it says report Everyone said this time will be different. Nevertheless history did repeat itself. I cannot pinpoint the power source however, it looks to be beyond this world. Maybe history will show us the way. I have no idea what that means, and honestly, I don't care. That's not what we're here for. The real secret room is behind the filing cabinet. Um, oh wow, okay. I think I might be too thick to get back there. Hold on, guys. I'm stuck. Oh no. What's happening to me? Okay, I just got stuck up there, so maybe I was a little bit too big. Oh, I'm gonna try to shrink down and see if that will help. I mean, what are they trying to say? That I'm fat or something? Okay, now we're behind the filing cabinet, and you go through one of these walls, I have no idea. So it seems like I made a mistake. Actually, what you gotta do is go under this table and click that blue button and then it teleports you to the secret room and it's underwater for some reason. I mean, look at this place. And you can go up here and now you're kind of swimming in the air, it's so weird. And there's something in each of these rooms, I guess. All of the rooms look pretty normal. And this thing on the wall says power offline. I don't know what that means. And there's something sparkling from my hand. But uh, yeah, all these rooms are basically the same and to get out of here I think you gotta go to the room with a stool and there should be a button under the stool or something or maybe you sit on it Uh Oh, I don't know how to get out. Okay. I might be stuck. I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to sit on the stool to go out How do you get out of here? I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of here, but I am pretty scared you guys Okay, what the what am I doing? I don't want to go up here. I want to get out. Okay. There we go Woo. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to reset to get out of here here to go on to the next hack. Oh my goodness, what happened to my clothes? I gotta hide right now. If you do not know, there is a secret hiding place right by the spawn. All you gotta do is click this image right here and you can walk through here. And now I have a safe place to hide while I fix whatever's going on with my outfit. I look naked, this is ridiculous. But I guess you can count this as a secret room too if you've never been under the spawn before. Okay, much better. That was super embarrassing. Hopefully nobody saw me looking like that. But for the next hack, it's going to make you spin like crazy, okay? I don't know, you could use it to maybe freak out your friends and stuff, but first I gotta figure out how I'm supposed to get out of here. I think I got lost, what did I do to myself? Oh wait, it should be right here, there we go. Okay, to get out of there, you just click the green button and then you boom, you're out. Okay, now so for this next hack, it's gonna be really crazy. You need to get the horse, and once the horse is there, you're gonna get in the chat and type wolf. Oh my goodness, what is happening? I'm floating on my head okay but that's not all then you're gonna want to click this horse button to ride it and then get off and look i'm floating and spinning in the air this is crazy what's happening to me okay i have no idea how you stop this because i'm jumping and it's not helping anything i don't want to be stuck like this i gotta get rid of this i didn't want it to go this way maybe i can get back on the horse oh no i don't know what to do maybe i have to get rid of the horse oh wait that's not working nothing's working i can't click anything oh no this hack is dangerous. I'm stuck. Oh, I guess 
course we're gonna have to reset again. Ah, make it again! No! Okay, gotta go to another secret room to hide. Okay, it's a good thing that I got out of there because that would have been super embarrassing if anybody saw me like that. But the next secret room is in this house right here, the one with the little bridge in the front. So you're gonna get that house and I'm gonna show you the coolest secret room. I think there's actually two of them in here, but one of them is just amazing. You got to see it. Okay, so now that the house is loaded in, I'm gonna go up the stairs and I guess I'll show you the first one, but it's not that cool. I think it's in the closet you can hide like in between the walls, but it's not that cool. The really cool one is all the way down the stairs. So you gotta go to the very, very bottom, which is down here, and stand by the shower. And now you click the shower head, and this came out of a wall. Look at that. You fall to the bottom, and here is your safe. I mean, I don't know if anybody would ever be able to rob this house, because who would think to do that? Definitely not me. See? Your money's all safe. Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. But if you see anybody with this house, now you know exactly how to rob them. Now let's move on to the very next hack. This one should be just as good. First, you gotta get out of this secret room, but I think I might be stuck. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me I have to reset again. It's so embarrassing. Oh wait, no I don't. Okay, whew. you gotta click the black button on the wall to get out of there. So this one is a fly hack, and I know I already look super fly, but this is a different kind of fly, okay guys? You're gonna wanna get the horse again. All right, so here's my horse. Then you're gonna wanna go in your house and sit on your couch and hit the kickback button. Now that we're sitting on the couch, you're gonna wanna get rid of your house. Okay, boom, the house is gone, and look at this. Ew, I'm walking so weird. My nails make this so much more worse. Okay, now that the house is gone, you're gonna wanna click on this horse and look, you're levitating! Oh yeah, this is so cool. This is an actually a good fly hack. Whoa, whoa, my horse came back after I jumped. So I guess if you wanna fly, just don't jump. Man, now it's all gone. Get me off of this stupid thing. So I guess this next hack is kind of cool. You can go to the grocery store and apparently set this bag right here on fire. Now, I don't know what you would do with a bag that's on fire, but like maybe throw it at somebody. But let's see if this works. So you're gonna wanna stand right by the bag and then go here to the items and get the bomb. We're gonna place it right next to the bag and blow it up. Boom, and now your bag is on fire. And now I have a bag that's on fire, but I don't know what to do with that. Wait, why is there a siren going off? Oh no, I just robbed the store. Well, I might as well take this money anyways. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm getting so rich today with all these hacks. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Anyways, we're gonna do the next hack, which is a jumping hack. Apparently it's supposed to make you jump super high and this is how high I jump now. It's really not that much, but we're gonna see if this one works. I really, really hope so because I hate when things aren't true. So first you're gonna wanna go to these items again and find the basketball, this one right here. Hold that, okay, I don't know why. This would help, but I guess it does. Then you're gonna wanna pull out a whole entire fire truck. Now, with the ball in your hand still, you're gonna go to the back of it and jump into this thingy. And there should be a way to make it go up or down. Um, You just hit the up button, it'll go up. All right, this is as high as it goes. And now what you're supposed to do, I'm pretty sure you just get rid of it and you should be able to jump super high. Wait, no, wait, I'm jumping normally. Don't tell me that was false. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna get the fire truck. Here it is, and we're gonna jump up here. Okay, make the ladder go up, and then bye-bye fire truck. Oh, okay, I'm still jumping normal. That was false. Somebody lied to me. How dare they? Whatever, this next one better not be false or I might just lose my mind. This one sounds even cooler than the one we just did. So this next one is supposed to be a speed glitch. And you know how slow you run in Brickhaven. I mean, look how slow this is, okay? So we're gonna do something about that. Hopefully they're not lying to me again or I really would cry. So you're gonna want to go to home cams and teleport to Gold Ranch, which is this one right here. So boom, teleport there. Now that you're here, you're gonna wanna get you a little baby. Oh yeah, I am a mother now. Then you're going to go back to home cams and go to the apartment. So you teleport, boom, to the apartment. And now I guess you should have a speed glitch. Um, okay, I'm moving the same speed. Let's teleport one more time. Let's see. 
Okay. Wee. Oh, are you serious? They lied to me. Did I do it wrong? I don't know if I did this one wrong or if I just got lied to, okay? And it's making me really mad. You know how useful a speed glitch could be in Brookhaven? Well, I guess it's goodbye, baby, because you did nothing and you didn't help me. All right, let's move on to this next one. For this next one, we're going to have to get a little bit dirty. So you're going to want to get a house. Not just any house. You're going to want to get this house right here. It's free, the farm one. And we're going to find a secret room in this little dusty, crusty farm. Ew. Okay, so first you're gonna click the shovel, click the bucket, and then place the bucket right here. Then you're going to turn on this uh, faucet. So turn on the faucet. Then you're gonna take your shovel, and I think you just dig like right around this area. And a secret room should be here. I don't know. Nothing's happening. Don't tell me they lied to me. Not again. Please. Where's my secret room? Maybe I have to dig for like a super long time. Time. I have no idea and it doesn't look like oh whoa I just teleported I was just about to say it didn't work and then it teleported me here look I'm underground and here's my safe you know what that means time to get rich baby oh yeah uh-huh uh-huh okay so now you know how to rob anybody who has a farmhouse we could be so rich together making all this money stealing all these secret safes anyways let's get out of here and go to the next one so oh wait uh how do you get out oh no please don't tell me please don't tell me i'm trapped underground come on don't make me reset oh no i think to get out of here i'm gonna have to reset again but it's so embarrassing okay here we go goodbye hopefully when i respawn i won't be naked oh my goodness hold on another secret room time go to the police station guys hurry up don't be caught looking nude like me okay and you can go into the front of the police station and go into these things i don't know what you were doing here besides hide because you're naked, but that's what I use it for. Now let's go ahead and fix this. Whew. Okay, I'm looking snatched again. Now let's figure out our next hack. So I know I just reset all the way back here and I'm in the police station, but this next hack is all the way back at the farmhouse we were just at. There's another secret room there and we all know how much I love those. Okay, let's go around all this messiness. Back to the stupid, ugly, dusty farm. I don't like how I got trapped in the other room. I better not get trapped in this second one. Okay, I'm here here at the farm you're gonna want to go over to this side like by the hay and start to uh, get a ladder so get the ladder right here and then you're gonna place it kind of right there I think and climb up hold on hold on I'm almost up there and then jump Ugh. you jump into the roof and there's a secret room and you can kind of see like what's going on outside but that's not all I'm pretty sure there's more oh yeah you just walk through and now you can see the back of everything what's this over here um I don't think this part does anything I guess it's just for show but yeah um you can walk straight out so i guess if you're ever kidnapped at a farmer's house then you can leave like that you would not believe how many times older farmers trap me in their stupid house i really couldn't use this information back then for the next hack we're doing another secret room i don't know why there's so many secrets in this freaking town but it's okay so you're gonna want to get that um like jail looking kidnapper creepy house okay which is this one right here and we're gonna go to the secret room inside this house i get kidnapped uh to this place quite a lot for some reason a lot of creeps tend to use this place but if you're ever trapped here you know there's a secret room you can hide in so once you get inside you're gonna want to jump straight down this hole and yep here's the spot where I get kidnapped and tortured by owners every single day but not today so we're gonna go around the corner actually and there's this like room thing with two missiles I don't know if you can launch them or not but let's see whoa <gasps> Wait, did I actually just launch missiles? I gotta go see. No way. If that actually worked, that's a brand new secret I didn't know. Oh wait, it's gonna come out of there? That means I must have missed it. Okay, let's try to launch him again and catch it this time. Cause that might be a whole new secret I never even knew about. Okay, where are my missiles? Um, hello? Oh, reload. Okay, we're gonna reload the missiles. Okay, now my missiles are back. Let's see, gonna hit launch on both of them and get to the cameras, let's see. <gasps> they did launch. Okay guys, so I just discovered a new secret. You can actually launch missiles right here in this little creep house. Okay. 
Okay, wow. Target acquired. Is it gonna blow somebody up? Uh-oh. That's not my fault. I was just curious. Okay, but the real secret room is behind this missile. You jump up to get in, and then you gotta go up here again. Then jump again, and you'll find this little area, and there's like a note on the floor. Dear General, after visiting the hospital and witnessing the agency's practices, the medical team and I have chosen to resign. Please consider doing the same. Agency's practices? What are they doing to people? Eh, whatever. Okay, now I gotta figure out how I got in here so I could get out of here. Um, wait a minute. Don't tell me. Not again. Maybe up here? Oh, that was easy. Okay, uh, I'll just go back the way you came, I guess. Ah, oh, nice. Now I'm out of here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Actually, for this next hack, before we leave this house, it could actually be useful for the next one. So go all the way up to the top of the house. Oh wait, I don't think this is how you go up there. Whoops, wrong spot. Okay, go to the top of the house from the inside and go to the very, very roof. And we're gonna get a helicopter because there is a new secret place underneath the map. It's a really good hiding spot. So let's go there right now, guys. I'm not really good at flying these things, but I'll try my best. So we're gonna make it go super, super fast. Okay. It's Speed isn't going up. Um, oh, there it is. All right, so we're gonna dodge these buildings and go underneath the map. And I'm gonna try not to crash this thing because I did tell you guys I wasn't good at this. Okay, so we're going to the edge over here. Hopefully I can get under there from this way. I've never tried it this way before. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's letting me go. We're going under the map, guys. This is it. Time to see the new secret room. It better be real for everything that I'm doing. Uh-oh, uh oh no, 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 wait, no, no! Oh, man. Ah, I'm naked. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I gotta hide again. We're gonna go to the very, very roof of this place. Come on, come on. Okay, so let's go up. And I'm getting rid of this ugly police design. We're gonna get the rich design because I'm rich. Okay, turn the speed up. And now we're gonna try this again. So now I'm gonna go down a little bit and then turn. Okay, we're going under. We're doing it. Safe and sound now. Here we go. Okay, now I just gotta find the area where the main spawn is to see this secret spot. Uh, I don't know how to find the spawn, so I guess I'm just gonna try my very best. Wait, I think I see it. Okay, this should be, oh wait, no wait, I don't know what that is. Where's the spawn? Oh no, I can't find the secret spot if I don't know where I'm at. Wait, I actually do think it's over here this way. Okay, why am I going backwards? My helicopter's going backwards. <gasps> No, my terrible internet. Well, okay guys, so maybe don't try to go under the map. I did not get to see the secret spot because my stupid internet is absolutely awful. <sighs> okay, once my internet is back online, then I will go on to the next one. Okay, now that I am back because my internet's trash, we're gonna go on to the next little secret room and it's in the hotel and there's not one, but two secret rooms in the hotel and that is just awesome. And both of the secret rooms are equally good. Can you believe it? So you're gonna wanna go to get the North or South Estate. And once you get that, obviously you're gonna get the hotel and wait for it to load in. Okay, here we go. So now that it's here, you're gonna go straight in into the elevator. And once you're in the elevator, stand in this corner right here. And then you're gonna, gonna do this really, really fast, okay? Up and then down. Wait, what? Hold on, it's supposed to, <gasps> there it is, it's right there in the corner. So once you go up and down, there's a secret room with the safe. And you know what that means, baby. There's more money. Anyways, it's clearly right under the pool because this is water and I'm swimming. But you can't get out through there. You gotta go back up here. Okay, we go up here and click the white button to get out of there. Woo! All right, that was the first secret room and that was pretty cool. And there's another one over here by these couches. So I think you put it right here. We might have to test this out a couple times to figure it out. But you're gonna take a ladder, which is there, place it right here. And now you're just gonna like bump your head into the ceiling a bunch and it should take you to a secret room. At least that's what I heard. Hopefully I'm not just bumping my head for no reason. Oh, uh, when is this gonna work? I might have the letter in the wrong spot. Oops, silly me. That was the wrong spot. Ignore that. The real spot is right here between these couches. So you're gonna go up here and now you're gonna bump your head a bunch and then boom, secret room, baby. 
Um, when you go this way, there's not much over here. But I heard you can sneak into different rooms. So this one is the pink room. And this one is my favorite. I love pink. Okay, wait. How do you get back? Okay, you go back in there. Come here. And then go back to the vents, which is on a new side now. Ugh, get up there. Come on. Go. There we go. And now we're in the black room. Cool. So basically, you can use the vent to sneak into any room in the hotel. And that I find very crazy. How do I get back in? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you walk until you see the room switch like this. Boom, it just switched. Now we're going up here. Ah, blue room. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was so cool. Okay, the hotel secret rooms are really nice. But there's more. So we're going to get rid of the hotel. And the next one you're going to want to get is the military base. This place honestly scares me a lot. All right, we're back where we started. And we're going to get the military base, which is right here. Okay, let's go. So you're going to go through the front door. And to this little building right here restricted area and you're going up these stairs that you find when you come in here and go to this table and find the seat with paper in front of it which is this one and then you're gonna do this really fast sit here and then stand under there boom secret room baby more money oh yeah oh yeah we're rich we're rich you can even steal from the military that's crazy um i i don't know how you get out of here though that part oh Oh, you just walk through the wall and that's how you get out. That is super, super cool. But we're not done yet. Okay, so let's get out of this stupid place. Um, You go through here because this next one is even better. This one is a flying carpet hack. Now, if this actually works, I will go insane. So let's go ahead and get a normal house and not in a state. I'm going to get this house that's right here. Um, I'm going to click this one. And what you're going to do is actually leave this game for just a second you're gonna go to roblox marketplace and you're gonna get a magic carpet we're just gonna take this one now this is 50 robux but you could also come up here and copy and paste this tiny little number and click where you shrink yourself and enter id paste that number boom i just got this for free not gonna spend 50 robux not -uh, on not me now that you have your house you're gonna go to the couch in this house the couch is upstairs pretty weird okay then you're gonna kick back and we're going to neck get rid of this house okay so click the x boom look flying carpet oh my goodness this is so cool i look like princess jasmine i guess if you wanted to you could troll people with these maybe don't have super long nails like me but yeah just as easy as that you got a flying carpet the next hack is right at the house we were just at the one with the palm trees and the couch upstairs so right here we're gonna get that and apparently there's a secret room you can hide in here too i mean who knew? My creepy neighbor used to chase me around this house all day and I had no idea I could just run away like this. So you're gonna go to the basement and this place is gorgeous, pretty cool, but you're gonna get a sleeping bag and put it in the roof. I know that sounds crazy, but just do it. Now we're gonna need a ladder to get to the roof and I'm gonna put it right under the bag like this and then we're gonna jump or get, okay, um, okay, that didn't work. My ladder's in the wrong spot. Okay, let's scoot it over a little bit right under the bag. Now let's try to jump and get into the bag. Oh, come on. There we go. Boom. And you jump out and you're in this part. I mean, you literally glitched out of the house because this thing right here is the elevator. You can't even use it. Look, you just go right through it. Yeah, and all of this is water from being underground. So maybe we can go for a swim. I have no idea. Let's find out. <gasps> no, not again. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, that was all the myths, hacks, and secret rooms I have for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video and you want more, make sure to let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you you guys next time bye today i am going to be testing a bunch of brookhaven myths to see if they are true or straight cats i am so excited to test all this stuff so let's go right now so the first one is if you get this car right here so we're gonna get that and you go to the speed and turn it all the way up and set your drift to 1.5 and turn the speed to 200 whoops that was 2000 and then you go this way towards that wall you will go to a whole place Okay, and I've always wanted to know what's behind this wall. So let's see if I'll go through it. I'm going so fast. Are you kidding me? So lame. Okay, that did not work at all. Whoever said that was a liar. That is stuff for the next one. If you get this house 
right here and you go inside to the basement, there is going to be a secret room inside of a secret room. That is just wild to me. Okay, so you go um over here and you click this button and that's the first secret room, right? We all know that. Once you get here, you're gonna go ahead and take a laptop and you're going to get in all of these seats, okay? So one, two, three, four, and five. So boom, now that means somewhere if there should be a button, there it is. And then you click that button and that should open the secret room and it should be somewhere in the walls. Oh, I just found it. <gasps> yes, okay, this is a secret room. I mean, look at how cool this is. What does it say? I did not know the truth in the beginning. They came when I was a child. Huh? That's some creepy stuff right there. But another hack, you can unlock an anti-gravity room doing something in here. So what you want to do to get the secret gravity room is find the secret button on this laptop. Oh, wait. I almost had it. Where did it go? Oh, oh, oh. Found it. Whoa. Okay. Did you guys hear that? It made a noise. So now we're going to go over to the agency. Wait, how do I get out of this secret room? I'm scared. Okay. It's over here. Now we're going to unlock that zero gravity room. I am so excited. This is going to be awesome. Okay. Let's head over there right now. We have no time to waste. I need to be floating. Okay. I'm really, really excited to see this zero gravity room. Oh, I'm going too fast. Okay. That was close. So what you're going to, oh, okay. I'm a bad driver. Ignore that. You're going to want to go to this agency right here. The first door is, here it is. We're here. Okay. You're going to want to click this. And before you type in the password, stand over here and type in Mark Baruch. I can't spell. Haven. Oh, is that correct? What's the password? It is Marcus Brookhaven. I just need to spell it more correctly. Okay. Let's try this again. So we're going to click it again and type in the password. Okay. We're trying the password again because I swear that's literally the password. Marcus uh, Brook Haven. Okay. That was right. So where's the secret? Where's the secret room? It should be right here. Did I just get lied to? I don't know, guys. I see no secret room, no zero gravity, and I'm so sad. So I guess that one was just false. I can't believe it didn't work. So the next myth is literally so cool because I get this house all the time, and I am never, ever able to find the safe. So we're going to go to the S and get the wood mansion. Okay, I'm here. Let's go ahead. Where? It's right here. Okay, boom. So we're going to go up here. Beautiful mansion. And I'm telling you, it used to be so hard for me to find the safe every time I got this house. Thanks to this myth, I know where it's at. So I have to get up some way, somehow. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to jump. Wait, am I in? Oh my goodness. Wait, where am I? Okay, I'm in the wall, but see where the safe is. <gasps> oh, I found it. It's the safe. What? And there's guns in here. What the heck? Well, now, anytime I see this house, I'm going to rob them every time. Okay? I could also use this place for, like, hide and seek or something because I never knew that this was there. Let's go ahead and smooth off. Oh, yeah. Give me your money. Who's rich? That's me. I'm rich. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was absolutely awesome. So this next myth takes place at the movies, man. And it's an even better hiding spot than that safe. So let's get to the movies right Right now so I can see if this is true or false. Ow! Oh, what the? Okay, so I am here at the movies. We're gonna go down here all the way to the theater and we're gonna sit in three seats. One, two, three. Okay, I sat in three different seats. Now we're gonna go down here. You're gonna want to get a sleeping bag and put it like right here. And you know, you gotta position it so the white part isn't showing. So we're gonna do that and see what this secret spot is. Okay, I got it. Let's see. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, wait, where am I? What is this place? Oh, no. This is so scary. Okay, let's see. Can I go anywhere else? Okay, this is so awesome. I could definitely hide here for hide and seek, but how do I get back to where I was, man? I don't want to be here anymore. Oh! Um, okay. That was weird. Anyways, we're going to go to the next myth, which is in train station. So what you're going to want to do is come down to where the subway is and go to the front where the driver's supposed to be. And you're going to want to take your sleeping bag again and place it so where you can go out there. Wait, this is actually a lot harder to do than I thought. Hold on. Give me one second. Um, so I got the sleeping bag. I don't know. Wait, it actually worked? Where am I? What is this? Am I just in front of the train? Where are we going? This place is a little bit scary. It's freaking me out. How do I get back inside? 
Oh, wait, what the? I can see the outside over there, but I can't get over there. It's right here. Well, I gotta figure out how to get back in. I don't know, guys. Give me another second so I can figure that out. But this myth was definitely 100% true. This is a great hiding spot and nobody would ever think to look here. Okay, so this next myth plays right here. And you're gonna wanna get the store apartment. And so there's supposed to be a secret room with a safe in it, cause I have never been able to find it. So what you're gonna wanna do is come over here. So apparently somewhere in a mirror, you are gonna be able to find a secret room. So let's check this whole place for some mirrors. Um, Wait, is it this one? No, it's not this one. Please don't tell me this was false. Oh my goodness. Um, Where's the mirrors at in this place? I don't see any and oh wait, okay, I see one. Okay, now it's time to find out if this is true or not. <gasps> Wait, did I find the safe? Oh, baby, I'm rich! This myth was 100% true! This is so cool! Let's move on to the next one. So for this next one, apparently there is a secret message in the mayor's office, and I gotta know what this message is. Like, is the mayor hiding some, you know, creepy secret? I just gotta find out. So you're gonna go to the mayor's office, and the first thing you're gonna do is want to turn off the light. Okay, where's the light in here, man? Where is it at? Wait, it's somewhere. I think the light's over here. It might be this one. One actually oh okay that makes perfect sense now there should be a secret message on the painting right here okay it's not a creepy secret it is just a special message but this myth is still true that was great now let me get out of this creepy office okay so for the next myth you got to get this garden house and I honestly used to be my favorite house right here because it's just so pretty on the inside I mean look at all these plants it's gorgeous so first there's actually a shovel in here that you can pick up and use which is right here Boom, okay, I wonder if you could like use it to dig anything maybe over here in this dirt Uh, that doesn't seem to be working. Okay, maybe it's over here. Whatever. I don't think you can actually do anything with that shovel Whatever. So also there is a secret room in here somewhere in the water But we're gonna have to swim around to try and find it because I actually don't know how to get there So just keep swimming and swimming and swimming until we find this secret room and apparently this secret room Also has the safe in it. Okay, so I just found it in here. Whoa, this is so cool. There's plants in here and everything. So there should be a safe in here somewhere, hopefully, because I'm trying to rob some people. No, there's no safe. How do you get to the safe? Where is it? I need the money, man. Wait, oh no, I'm back out in the water? Um, this is getting sh Oh, I found it! So I just had to keep swimming. So it's basically a secret room inside of a secret room in this plant house so I can rob this safe. So many people at Brookhaven are gonna get their money stolen by me now because this was so awesome. I had no idea before. The myth was 100% true. Okay, so for the next myth, I am getting kinda hungry, so this one is coming right on time. And apparently, all you gotta do is go to the drive-thru and you can actually take orders orders and order food so um maybe i should probably get a car for this okay i have a car now it is time to get some food at the drive through let's see if this actually works so you're gonna come here uh, oh 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 i'm going so fast um you click oh and it's working yeah can i get a large uh grimace shake and a big mac please thank you and then you're gonna come up here and what the? Who is this? Who are you? Excuse me? Who is this dude? I didn't know anybody was actually working here. Oh, and look, it has my name up here, but it's supposed to show my picture and it doesn't. But whatever. Hey, baby. Uh, excuse me? Who are you and how did you get here? I'm not your baby, bro. I'm trying to bust myths right now. You're kind of in my way. Food and drinks, right? Oh, great. Cool. So I'll just take that and go. I was not expecting anybody to be here with me that's kind of creepy your payment will be a kiss huh i'm not kissing you man give me my food i'm out of here who does he think he is i'm supposed to be hey get off my car i'm trying to bust mints here and this dude is all over me oh no buddy i will teach you a lesson about being a creep okay all right i lost him but i basically had to flip over my car to do that wow he's still chasing me what is going on this is so random i need to get back to busting myths maybe i can find one with a cool hiding spot so the next myth is that you can actually hide in a secret room in the police station you go right over here and try not to get caught but you can walk right through the walls here and now you are in a secret room and nobody can see me i had no idea about this this is 
is a hundred percent true. And now I can hide from that weirdo. He shouldn't be able to find me at all. How did he even get here? That's so freaky. I'll just hide in here for a little bit and then go on to the next. So this next myth actually takes place in the haunted house. So you're gonna go get the haunted house and we're going to find a secret room in there. But I don't like to be in there for too long because it actually is pretty scary to me. Okay, so let's find the haunted house. It is right here, man. I'm getting kind of nervous. Really scary. But it's all worth it for a secret room. Um, okay. It's a little bit scary, but I'm gonna just mind my business. Oh, what is that? Oh, no. Let's try to even find the secret room. So it's gonna be next to one of the beds. So we just gotta find a room with a bed and there should be a secret room next to it. Okay, it's not this room. Oh my goodness. Please get me out of here. Um, let's try the room next to it. Is there a secret room in this bed? Wait, no, that's not it. What the heck? Okay, on this side? No. Okay, there's only one other room. We're gonna go over here. Oh, wait, is this it? I'm actually in a room. Oh my goodness. Ah, there's a ghost in here. What the heck? Oh no, it's too scary. Get her out of here. Wait, what is this random book? Okay, that's all. Anything else? Uh, I guess that's just a book in here and a- Ah! Okay, I'm out of here. I don't care anymore. That's the haunted house secret room, guys, and I'll never go in there ever again. What the heck? This place gotta be haunted. There's zombies everywhere. Okay, enough of the scariness. Now for this next one, you're going to go to the fire station, and apparently there's like a secret room you can get into in there also. And I don't know. I just need a break from whatever that was. So it should be either right there or right there. I guess we're gonna try both. So to get up here, I am going to get my handy dandy ladder and stack it up. Let's see. Now I gotta figure out if I could jump up here. Ugh. Oh yeah. And you're gonna wanna get a sleeping bag. What the, what, what is this? Is that one of the zombies? How did you get here? Ah, leave me alone, bro. I'm trying to get into a secret room. This man is weird. Why is he following me everywhere? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna hide in this grave for a little bit until he decides to go away. Kiss me. Um, absolutely not. Stop following me, you freak. Oh my goodness. We gotta try and get into the secret room because maybe I could lose his trail. Okay, I need to put a sleeping bag here. Not a ladder. Sleeping bag up here. Please, so the white part is hiding to get into the secret room. And I need to do it quick before that guy comes back again. Okay, I put in a sleeping bag. Whoa, I'm actually here. Okay, so where else can I go? Is that it? Is that what? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess that was all. You can just walk on that part, but nothing else really. I mean, I'm, it was a good enough hiding spot to get away from that freak. That's for sure. Well, let's go ahead and go to the next one. I gotta get out of here. What the heck? Is that my car? Why is there two of my cars in here? So the me next myth says, if you go to the church and click the funeral button and you get inside the coffin, you will see a picture of Mr. Brookhaven. So let's see if we can actually even get in the coffin. Um, hello? Oh, wow, I'm actually in here. Okay, let's, wait, I see something. Is that him? Yo, why is there a picture of this man in my coffin? Well, I guess that myth was 100% true, okay? Now, let's move on to the next one. Let's see, let's get in my car. So apparently, if you go to the airport and get on the plane, there is a secret room in there, in the bathroom. So we're gonna go there right now and uh, go to this, because, you know, sometimes when I'm getting on planes, a lot of creeps like to show up. So, you know, that's a good hiding spot. All right, I'm here, and here's the bathroom. Um, in one of these walls you should be able to get into like a secret spot <gasps> i'm in there and you can't see me at all it's really not much in here just a small little room that you can hide in so that's good i wonder if this plane is going anywhere well that was a really good hiding spot it's time for me to get off of this place man i don't know where it's going and i'm not Whoa! what are you doing how does this dude keep finding me everywhere i go what do you want i might have to put that bathroom hiding spot to good use right now i am here to help with your flight troubles. Uh, no thanks, man. I'm out of here. Okay, this is the perfect time to get in my secret spot and make sure that I do not get seen. If he tries to follow me in here, he'll have no idea where to find me. Oh my goodness, you guys. He is in here. He's looking for me and he can't find... Wait, he better not use the bathroom while I'm hiding in here. Ew.
I don't know who this guy is or how he figured out that I was here, but it has got to stop. It looks like I'm gonna have to pull out the ultimate hiding spot, and I hope it's not a miss. I really, really want it to work. Okay, I'm driving out into the middle of nowhere to perform this one because I do not need that guy following me anymore. Okay, I'm far enough away to where I should not be found. Now it's time to test this, and hopefully it takes me far, far away from that guy. Okay, so for this myth, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to pull out a balloon. Okay, I have my balloon, and now what you're gonna wanna do is go into first person, and you jump until you fly, and apparently you'll fly far enough away to where you'll go to a whole different, let's see if this works. Oh, okay, let's see, what the, wait, where am I? Is this still Brookhaven? But I'm underwater, I think that's the gas station right there. Whoa, what is that? Wait, where did it teleport me to? Oh no, this is creepy. It's definitely Brookhaven. I can see the sign right there. And I got teleported somewhere where something scary is going on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. How do I get back? We're gonna go back right now. I can't do this anymore. Ah! Okay, that was terrifying. That is a one myth. Definitely not be using it. Okay, it's a good thing I'm back because for the next myth, it is right here at the yacht. Apparently, there is a secret hiding spot here. So what you're gonna wanna do is come to the side of the yacht and somewhere on the edges. Oh, wait, don't go into the water like I just did. That's not a part of it. But somewhere on the edges, you should find a secret room to drop into and it should be a pretty good hiding spot. So let's see, Um, somewhere, oh, I found it. Wait, whoa. Oh, this is a weird one. And I think I just got myself stuck in here. I don't know how. I can literally see the inside of the, uh, I see a kitchen. Oh, wait, whoa, that's crazy. It's almost like I'm invisible. But yeah, that's a really good hiding spot. Now, how do I get out of here? Definitely won't be using that one. I almost got stuck. But it is 100% true. So you guys could use that if you want. And since we're over here, another myth is that somewhere on the summer camp water slide, you can find a secret room. So first, you're gonna wanna go all the way over there. And here goes the slide right here. And I don't know if it's this side or the other side, but you use the sleeping bag and you find a okay, so I'm just gonna keep putting the sleeping bag down until I get it like inside of the mountain. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world? Let's see if it's this. What? No, that didn't work. It's not that. So I guess I'm just gonna keep putting it down until I get there. I don't know. I mean, I got in here, but it doesn't look like a secret hiding spot. It just took me under the mountain. Let's try it on this side. I don't know where it was. Let's see. Um, oh, and no, it's just like floating here i don't know it's not really a good secret one yeah that didn't do anything at all for me guys well it looks like that one was absolutely false a hundred percent false okay that makes me so sad i really wanted to see secret room under the slide but since i'm here i might as well have fun on the slide because i don't know if you guys know but you can change the slide to make it different and like fly off okay so we're gonna click the first one and let's see if i actually fly off of the slide doing this oh my god Goodness, whoa, that was a super good one. Okay, just like maybe one or two more times. That was absolutely so fun. The water slide is like the best thing they could have put up here. See, whoa, these are looking crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one now. Oh, whoa, I'm flying. Ah, that one was super good. Okay, just one more slide. Okay, this one looks like a maze. I don't know which way I should go down, but I'll go down this way. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. I'm just being thrown around everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Woo, that was scary. The slide is so awesome, guys. I love it so much. Okay, so apparently this next hack turns you invisible. And I really, really hope this one is true, okay? Because I would love to be invisible. So first, what you're gonna do is get your binoculars out. Here they are right here. So apparently, if you go into free cam, so you hit shift P. Okay, so I hit shift P and went into free cam. And then you're gonna use your binoculars. So hit F and boom, I'm in. Visible. Where did I go? Nobody knows. I mean, look at this. Oh, whoa, I'm getting dizzy. Okay, wait, free cam is making me super, super sick. But yeah, the invisibility myth was 100% true. That makes me so, so happy.
happy. That was really, really cool. Okay, let's get out of here and away from this big, scary mountain. Now, I gotta find somewhere to land. Okay, so those were all the myths that I had, and a lot of them were true, and that was really, really cool. But, you know, some of them weren't true, and that's okay. If you want me to do this video again, just let me know down below in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Today, I am going to be busting Brookhaven myth, and we're gonna find out whether they are true or false. So let's get started. The first one kind of makes me nervous. The first myth is that you can summon a ghost at town hall. I have no idea if this is true or not, but we're gonna find out right now. I'm so nervous. Okay, so once you get to town hall, you're gonna wanna look around and one of these rooms, which is right here, says paranormal activity. Oh no. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. And there's this thing here, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and pick this up because this thing actually detects ghosts, okay? So when this starts going off, you know there's a ghost around there. What you're gonna do is come to this thing and press it, and then something gonna happen oh my goodness is there actually a ghost gonna be here soon i don't know if i want to stick around uh what what is that i guess it's just smoking now let's see if anything's changed no i mean my detector doesn't say anything that's so weird okay well on the board it does say disturbance reported in janitor room at 6 28 three eyewitnesses reported so maybe there was some ghost that was summoned in brookhaven but for right now i'm gonna say this one is false because there's no ghost in town hall nowhere look but at 6 28 i will definitely be in the janitor's room it is only 132 right now so i got some time too bad that was false i actually kind of wanted to see a ghost for the next myth we're gonna have to go and get a whole house okay and it's very very cool these are some new hiding spots i had no idea existed in the new house all right so ignore all this stuff here we're gonna get a house and you have to get this specific one because there are fake walls in this house you can hide in so you're gonna want to get this new house right here it is free for everybody to use so anybody could use these spots all right and so when you come in here and you look around, the walls that look like this are fake. So you can actually just jump up here and hide in there. And look, I mean, you can't even see me anymore. Okay, and there's also another hiding spot behind here. You turn on the fireplace and try not to, you know, burn. But you go up here and boom, it's another one. You can hide in here if you can't even see Okay, boom. So this house is, you know, pretty good to hide in if you're ever playing hide and seek in Brookhaven. I guess this one was actually true. It's not cap. So for this next myth, you can apparently float in the air. I think this is a really good one to mess with your friends with because who would not be freaked out by that? So what you're going to want to do first is get some supplies. The first thing you're going to need is the ladder, which is right here. So you get your ladder and then you also get the sleeping bag. And this is how you're going to float in the air. First, you're gonna put your ladder down. Let's see. And then put the sleeping bag on top. There we go. Okay, that was perfect. Now, you go up here. All right, we're in the bag. Oh, and it's pink, just like my outfit. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna get rid of the ladder. Wait, what? It's not going away. Hold on, let's try this again. Okay, the ladder's here. And then you just get rid of it and you're floating in the air. I'm not gonna lie. If I just seen somebody floating in a sleeping bag like this, I would get so freaked out. Okay, so this myth was actually true. And look, it just stays there. Oh my goodness, what? All right, that one was true, man. Now on from this next one, it gets just a little bit creepy, okay? Uh, you're gonna have to go to the hospital. And I don't know, it's right over here, so we're almost there. And once you get there, you're going to wanna go inside the front door. And up here, in this corner, it's a little crack. So you're gonna wanna try to get in that crack, and it brings you to this room here. All right, so the next myth is that you can actually change what it says right here on the wall. So what you're gonna wanna do first is sit in this chair, okay? <gasps> We sat in the chair. Next, you're gonna wanna come in here and there is a thingy with, it says agency on it. I'm not sure what that's for, but you click on it and it'll catch on fire. And then you go back here and you sit in the chair and it changed. There's this secret code. Um, I don't know what this is for, but maybe we'll find out eventually. I just don't know. Well, the code is gone. Let's go on to the next one. That one was true. And guys, if we look at the time, it is almost 6.28, so I think we should make our way to the janitor's closet and the school and see if there 
is any ghost going on there because that's what it said. Hopefully it meant 628 p.m. and not a.m. Okay, it's almost there. I gotta hurry. I don't wanna miss this. All right, we're here at the janitor's closet. Let's go ahead and get my uh detective stuff. What the? Wax floors, paint gym doors? That's not usually what it says. Okay, it is past 628. I got here just in time. Let's go ahead and find that ghost detector thingy and see if there's any paranormal activity going on like it said in the other room. Um, I'm not getting anything. Well, I guess that one was definitely cat. No! There's no ghost at all. <sighs> Whatever, I guess, you know, on to the next one. Well, I didn't see a ghost, but that's okay. For this next one, you can literally find a secret room, but you got to go to the subway station. So let's go over here because, you know, that's where the subway is, and we're going to find a secret room in the station. And this could be another good hiding spot if you're ever playing hide and seek in Brookhaven. Maybe your friends will just never find you. I think it's a great way to win, but let's see if it's actually true first. Okay, we're here at the subway, so you're gonna go down here, and what you have to do is you see this sign, you're gonna have to click it, and once you click it, there should be a secret room right here. Oh no! And then look, you can keep going, and you're under the map. That is so crazy! This one was 100% true. That's awesome. But if you keep walking around, I mean, it's pretty spacious. Wait, I just found another one! It just keeps going! Oh my goodness, wow! Wait, I'm actually getting super lost. I don't know where I'm at. I'm getting scared. Okay, uh, wait, what's going on? I think I'm just stuck in here. I'm going in circles. How do I get out of here? What do I do? Um, okay, one of these gotta be the way out. Oh, and I'm back where I started. This is getting very scary. Uh, we'll move on to the next one once I figure out how to leave. So, for this next one, it turns out there might be a secret attic in that bakery house. So, we gotta go and get the bakery house ASAP because I would love to see this. Hopefully, this one is not false because I would probably just cry. I hate when these are just not true because they sound so cool. All right, look at this. My floating sleeping bag is still here. Here. It just doesn't go away and I can still get up here and float at any time. This is so awesome All right, so let's go ahead and get the Baker house if you do not know which one that is it is this one right here Okay, when you get it, it looks like a bakery inside So that's why I call it the Baker house. I actually don't know what it's called But once it loads in we're going to find this secret room. Okay, let's walk in here So it should be behind this picture or above this picture. Let's stand right here. Oh wow It's getting really hard to get up here. Ugh, wait. Oh Oh, I just saw it. Hold on, hold on. We gotta try this again. It's really hard. Uh, I can't get up there. I definitely see it. I just gotta find a smarter way to get in there. Let's go ahead and get my ladder. Let's see. Okay, come over here and um, put the ladder like right there. Let's see if this helps. All right, now let's try it. Boom, that was too easy. Oh yeah, the ladder is great. Okay, let's see what's up here. I mean, you got some sleeping bags and uh, a safe. Oh, so if you wanted to rob somebody here, you could literally just open in the safe and take their stuff and that's where to be hiding that myth about the secret attic was actually true now let's go on to the next one so the next myth actually takes place in this same house so what you're gonna want to do is come into this bedroom and behind this wall right here you should be able to walk through it and you're in the bathroom what okay anyways let's go back in this room um because there's actually an even better one in here so to do this one you're gonna want to stand really close to the bed and and look under it and click the button right here and it lights up once you do. OMG, okay, that was so cool. This next myth kind of takes a really long time to do, so we're gonna have to, you know, do our best to not get a uh, little bit lost. So what you're gonna do next is go to the church, which is uh somewhere, oh, it's right over here next door, actually, wow. So once you get to the church, you're gonna wanna ring the church bell, which is right here to the right when you walk in. So grab it, whoa, okay, we rung the church bell and now now that we rang the bell, we gotta go back into this house. I know, I know, it's a lot of running, but it's going to be totally worth it, I hope. I mean, we gotta see if this stuff is even true. All right, so now something should be different about the attic once we get back in there. Let's go ahead, ah, once we get in here. Okay, that was super easy at time, but you look right here and this thing on the floor is glowing. I don't know uh, what that means or what that symbol is, but if you look over here, there is now something written on this paper. It says, the sound stretches across the town and alarm to those that see. You will enter with a peace from that which bends. We will be hid from the powers that be. What? I have no idea what that meant, but if you know, let me know in the comments, okay? 
so far everything with this myth has been true but it is not over yet because now we need to leave this house and get another house to keep this one going but it sure will be worth it in the end if the myth is true okay so the next house you're gonna want to get is gonna look like this here it is it is this house I don't even have a name for this house so I just have to show you what it looks like but once you do that you're gonna want to go in here and there should be another attic that is secret with something in it and it looks like that up there this weird little box so you click it and then you get in there ugh, like that and here's the safe so if you ever wanted to rob somebody with this house it there's the safe but then you come over here and there's something else so once you turn around and you go to the top there's this claw here and you click it I don't know what this is but uh uh let's see I mean, maybe there's something we do with it later. It's getting pretty weird though. Okay, let's get out of here and keep going. And then the next step is back at the church. I know we were just there, but we gotta go back to the church now. But instead of going inside, we need to get on the roof of the church. Okay, so uh, how am I going to get up there? Uh, looks like I gotta use the ladder again. Let's go ahead and get the ladder and put it right there. Let's see, let's get to the top. Ugh. No, okay, hold on. I'm getting pretty bad at this. What's going on? My ladder's not working. Let's try this again in a different spot. Oh, yeah, there we go. And so then you should see this weird looking button thing and click that and it'll glow. Whew, okay, this is a lot of work. Hopefully this myth is worth it. So the next step is now you have to go inside the church. All right, so go in here and you're gonna wanna click funerals and you're gonna stand on this glowing pad thingy. Okay, guys, so the myth is once you do this, you should be able to teleport. And I really, really want to teleport. So let's see if this works. You're going to click this button right here on the pad, okay? <gasps> it worked! Look, I teleported way up here. OMG, okay, all that work was definitely worth it. I could use this teleport myth to scare my friends, but this one was 100% true. That was awesome. For this next myth, I need to go all the way to the police station over there. So I guess it's time to jump. Ah! Woo, okay, I landed on the bridge. That wasn't too bad. Let's hurry up and go to this police station. Ew, if this next myth is true, we should be able to go underneath the Brookhaven map. Okay, and that would be so cool. So once you get to the police station, you're going to want to go up that ladder. So you climb up the ladder and then the helicopter should be right here. You get in it and you go and let's make it look a little bit better. Let's make it look super rich. Oh yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna turn the speed up and you're gonna try to be very careful to not crash. Let's go up, 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 as far as I can go. Oh wait, okay, I'm pretty bad at flying this thing. But you're going to want to go all the the way um uh this way hold on watch out okay you're gonna go to the edge of the map in your helicopter this is as fast as it goes so it might take a while to get there but if this is true we can definitely hide under the map and never be found which is like a really another good hide and seek secret all right we're going down guys and we're gonna try my best to turn around very carefully now we're gonna go down under oh my goodness it's working i'm under the Brookhaven map. OMG. So far, this myth is 100% true. Okay, let's go and see what's under here. Look at everything. I mean, who would ever find you here? Oh, and there goes the movie, uh, the movie theater over there. Look at all this stuff. Let's see. See, I need to stop. I don't want to be under here for too long. I'm getting kind of nervous. Where can I go? And when you're under here, if you find this black box, I think you can actually land there for a little bit. If you know you ever get tired of flying a helicopter, which I definitely am. So let's try to go right above it and go down. <gasps> am I going to land? Is it going to work? OMG, I can throw a whole party under the map here. Okay, I like this. This myth was 100% true. Look at this whole thing. You can just stand up here and stare at the whole map. I mean, what even is this box though? Why is it just sitting under here? Is it just to hide in? Let's see if I can find out what it is. Oh man, be careful. I can't. Wait, no! Oh, come on. I just fell. Well, next time we gotta be more careful when uh, testing this stuff out. Okay, let's go to the next myth. Okay, so for this next myth, we are actually going to try and summon a real ghost. Now, I have no idea if this is false or true, but if it is true, it's gonna be really scary. So what you're first gonna wanna do is go to the cemetery. And then one of these you can write on. So you just 
write your username, which mine is Raylashawn YT. You enter that, and boom, it says Raylashawn YT R I P. Ah, okay. And now what you're gonna do is pull out your ghost detector thing and go inside, and you're just gonna stand in there with it for uh like maybe three seconds. Then put that away, click on it, and get out of there. And now a ghost should come out at any minute. Hopefully this is false, because I'm actually getting kind of scared right now. So let's see if it happens or not. <laughs> um, I've been waiting here for a while and nothing's happening. So I think that this one might be false. I don't see what the Oh wait, it is something in there! Ew! It's a real ghost! Oh he's chasing me! It actually worked! What the heck? Oh no, I should have never done that one. Guys, whatever you do, wait, there's another ghost? Don't summon anymore! What oh no, who is this? Is it another ghost? Ah! Okay, I have got to do something. I've got to find somewhere to hide. Let's try to use one of these old um hacks that I found earlier today. Okay, click that and go in the secret room and hopefully they can't find me in here. Oh, M. Gee, having ghosts in Brookhaven is so terrifying. I don't think we should ever do that. But since I'm, he's one right here above me. I don't know if they see me or not, but I'm gonna stay right here. Wait, there's two. Hey, baby. Oh, they can see me, but I don't think they know how to get down here. I should be safe. Look at them. There's three. Oh, what is it doing? Uh, should we summon more? They want to summon other ghosts? Ew, no way. Please don't. Oh, baby. Why do they keep calling me baby, bro? That's so crazy. Kiss me? Are these older ghosts? What the heck? Oh, I can't believe that. This is disgusting. There's something really wrong with them. Okay, I'm gonna hide under the water right here. I don't think they can actually see me in this one. I should be pretty safe. What the heck? Oh, no. Ew, look at that one. Okay, I guess this is the way out. Let's click the button and get out of here. Let's see. Hopefully, I'll... Oh, no, he's found me already. Okay, run. Gotta go, gotta go. They're chasing me all over the place. Where else can I hide? It has to be somewhere I can go. I can go home. Okay, we've just tried out so many myths with so many different hiding spots. So I'm gonna try to use those to get away from these weird older ghosts. I can't believe I actually summoned them. What the heck? He's standing outside the house waiting for me, but I have a hiding spot. Okay, I'm gonna go there ASAP. I cannot let them see me. Go, 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 go. Okay, what the? Am I safe? Ah, I'm not safe! What the heck? He's scaring me. Leave me alone. Let me out. Oh my goodness. I gotta go. I gotta go. Nowhere is safe. I mean, where else can I hide, guys? I don't know what to do. Okay, I just gotta think. What's another hiding spot I had? Home so early? What is he talking about? Boo! No! Leave me alone! Okay, let's try this one again. Maybe I can go hide under the map and they will finally leave me alone. Man, this is ridiculous. I don't know how I'm supposed to hide from these dudes. <sighs> okay, wait, there's no helicopter? I gotta try to get in one fast and get out of here. No! They all got in! Okay, I gotta find somewhere else to hide. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can find anywhere. Okay, I think um one of these cells will let you go in there into a secret room. So you just gotta find that secret room and, you know, uh, stay safe. Okay, Ooh. Oh, no! It just keeps happening! How do they know all these spots? Uh, this is ridiculous, guys. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Let's go in the pool. We all know about this spot in the pool, right? You go under here, through the wall, and then you get to... Oh, wait, how did he beat me? What? Okay, back out here, back out here. Get out of the pool, man. These ghosts are everywhere. It's like like they're teleporting or something. Okay, let's go back over here and see if we can teleport once again. Hopefully we can. Um, I have no idea though. So let's hurry up and get our ladder and try to get on top of this building. Oh man, I have zero time to waste. I feel like I'm just not moving fast enough because these dudes are everywhere. Wait, oh no, he's right there. He said, you will pay the price. The price for what? I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Pay the price, bro. You're a psycho and I still can't get on top of this building. I just want to teleport away from these freaky ghosts. What is going on? He's standing in the way. How am I supposed to get up here? Oh, this is so hard. I think they might have broke it and I can't do it anymore. Their stupid ghosts are all over me. Okay, this button has still been pressed. So I'm gonna go back in the church and see if I can teleport again. Hopefully it works just the same. Okay, we're gonna stand here and click it. No, it's not letting me teleport. What's going on? Well, I guess 
guess that doesn't work anymore. I gotta figure out something else to do. Let's sit up here. Okay. Haha, <laughs> guys, I'm still floating in the air. Now what are you gonna do? You can't get in here with me. We know everything. It doesn't matter. No, what? Like, there's nothing to know. Will you guys just leave me alone, man? What's your problem? We know every myth and secret. Okay, fine. I won't do this anymore. Will you guys just go away? Leave me alone, please. You summon us. You pay the price. What price? Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What did you guys do? Why is it so dark? What happened to everything? What are these ghosts doing? Uh, boo, it's nighttime now. We're gonna get you. This is bad, okay? This is really, really bad. Let's try to go back down here. Um, let's see. Am I able to get in? No, I'm not. They're in the way. Oh my goodness, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Where can I go? It's raining, it's dark, and they're all over the place. They will leave. Wait, I'm not waiting for anything, bro. Leave me alone, please. This has to be somewhere I can hide. Okay, let's see. Am I safe in the club? Um, let's hide behind the counter. Hopefully nobody can see me. What the heck? They're all right there. There. He's looking out the window. Where did mommy go? Uh, it's dark. Okay, they can't see me back here. That's good. I might have actually found a safe place to go. All right, they're just standing around looking everywhere. She can hide, but she can't run. Oh my goodness, where are they going? Well, if we can't see much, she can't either. These people are really, really scary. Oh no, they're using flashlights. Ah, they found me. No, this is so bad. Okay, just gotta keep running. It's too dark to even see anything. Where can I hide? Oh my goodness. I can't tell what this is until I get really close to it. Summoning these ghosts were the worst decision of my life. They're crazy. They're psychos. And they keep trying to get a hold of me. I can't let them help me. They're so fast. Mommy, you can't run from us. We want to talk. Talk about what? What is there to talk about? Why do you have to chase me though? Just stop chasing me, guys. Please. Uh, okay? Listen, we can talk about this, but from a distance you gotta leave me alone give me some space you guys are really scary okay come on let's uh let's get up here let's hide in this barn oh no stay down there or i won't talk to you you can't run just follow me follow you why i don't want to you guys are way too scary you can't run you're trapped anyways i want to show you something no i don't want to see anything you guys gotta show me i gotta go right now super far okay let's um go wherever this is wherever this is gonna take me since it's super dark i know i can't see but they can't see either so if i can find a really good hiding spot like right here i should be safe look at that i mean it just looks normal to me like a normal tree there's no way they'll find me in here so now i don't know what to do i mean i summon these ghosts and i'm hiding from them but i I can't hide in this tree forever. And will the sky ever go back to normal? It's so dark, you can't see a thing. I can't believe they did all this. Just for what? There's no reason. I don't think I'll ever be testing any myth ever again. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this situation, but hopefully it just all goes away soon. Guys, do not try this stuff at home. Today, I am going to be busting Brookhaven myths again. Now, for the first one, I think it's super, super cool if this would work. It's a fly hat. That's right, we are going to be flying in Brookhaven today. So, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is go all the way up here to the top of the map and go to this Brookhaven sign over here. And when we get there, we're going to be flying, hopefully, if this uh, hack is true. Okay, so I am here at the sign and I am going to climb all the way up. Now what you're gonna do is click that button right here. You're gonna type slash fly and you're going to make the big round black and the words white. Now let's see it. Okay, so the billboard now says fly and now we're going to type it ourselves. So type slash fly in the chat and then you should be able to fly. Let's go ahead and do this right here. Slash fly. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Uh, is it gonna happen? Oh, nothing's happening. It was false. The myth wasn't true. Well, I guess there's no flying for today. That really sucks. I was looking forward to that. But on to the next one. So for this next myth, you're gonna wanna go to the motel and we are going to be finding a secret room in this motel. If it is, I just found myself 
a free house if it's true. I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to, I think it's this side. Uh, I don't remember. Let me think. So it's either right here or right here, but one of those spots has a secret room. So I guess we're just gonna try both. So you have to get a ladder and a sleeping bag. So here's the ladder. And here's the sleeping bag. And you're gonna take the ladder. I think it's on this side. Let's try this side first. So get your ladder and put it close to the building, like right there. And then you're gonna take your sleeping bag and put it up here and make sure it gets inside the wall. Out like that, there we go. And so now you're gonna want to jump in there. Let's see if I can do it. Oh man, that was so close. Okay, gotta keep going. Try it again, no. Okay, again, no. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. How do I get up there? I don't know how I'm gonna get up here, you guys. I have to figure it out. So let's just uh, keep going, I guess. Okay, I put the sleeping bag a little bit closer. Oh, what just happened to me? I just fell down. Okay, it's closer to me, so I should get in there. <gasps> I did it. Wait, what? Is this not the part with the secret room? I went in there and I kind of just got stuck. Oh, you know what? I see what happened. There's a secret room right here, guys. I mean, I see it, but I'm not high enough. So I thought I was high enough. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep going. I have got to show you guys this room. Okay, I had to put everything like a little bit higher up off the ground, but I did it. I made it in to the secret room. Oh my goodness. I mean, hey, if you don't wanna, you know, get the motel yourself, you can kind of just come up here and decorate it and everything. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. But since this one was true, we're going on to the next one. The next myth takes place at the diving board. OMG. So apparently you can launch a car off of the diving board. I mean, how cool would that so let's go over there and try this right now. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to jump up and down right there on the diving board. Super easy. Then you're gonna wanna spawn a car in. Oh, wait, no, that didn't work. Hold on, let's try it again. Okay, I'm on the diving board. Let's spawn the car. Let's see. Wait, okay, it's just spawning in the wrong spot. Hold on, maybe I shouldn't jump. Let's spawn it now. What? Oh my goodness, it just flung the car all the way over here. I mean, it kind of worked, but it wasn't that good. I'll let you guys decide if that one was true or not. Let's go to the next one. So the next one takes place inside the mall at the Happy Burger, home of the big cheese. So we're gonna go in there and find a secret room. I mean, I don't know what you would use it for, but let's go. Let's get in this mall and do this right now. I'm so excited to see the secret room. It's probably like nobody knows about this. What the, wait, there is already a sleeping bag in here, in the wall. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from, but at least I don't have to put it there. Let's go ahead and get in there and find the secret room. So you should just have to go like this and what? Oh no. Who is this? Why are they in here? Uh, hey, what are you doing back here by yourself? Hey, baby. Baby, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, I don't like to be called baby. And yeah, you should probably go. I'm waiting for you. Waiting for me? What do you mean? How would you even know that I was coming back here? You can't be waiting for me. Are you crazy? I miss you. Miss me? Who even are you? We've never met before. How can you miss me if I don't even know you? Come lay down. Lay down? Why would I lay down? bed with you. How did you even get this whole bed back here, bro? That is ridiculous. Who do you think would ever come and lay back here with you? You will. I will? What are you talking about? No, I won't. You don't know me. Man, I'm gonna get a sleeping bag and get out of here. I'm gonna put these bags everywhere, okay? I'm out. You can have that secret place to yourself. Who does he think he is asking girls he doesn't know to get in bed with him? Like, hello? Nobody likes you that much, and why would he just be waiting back there. Anyways, that myth was 100% true, even though there was some stranger in there. On to the next one, man. And this next one takes place somewhere I kinda would not wanna be. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, guys. It takes place inside of this dump. A disgusting, horrible, awful place to be. But that's where we gotta go, so let's go find the secret room. So I know that all you're gonna do is go in here and you're gonna click 
this thing on the ground and click the care facility button right there. Let's go down here. And so this is the care facility. It looks like a little hospital, but the secret room is underneath these stairs. So what you need to do is get really, really small because we got to fit in that tiny crack right there. So let's go ahead and shrink down to the smallest you can be, which is 0.5. And now it's time to go under here. Oh goodness, what? Oh no! Nah. What are you doing here? How did you even get here before I did? Hey again. Again? Oh my goodness. Uh-uh. And please don't tell me those roses are for me, okay? I do not want them. I don't want anything from you. Yes, it's for you. Well, you can keep them to yourself, okay? I don't want them. I'm not taking them from you. Please. OMG, bruh. No means no. You're starting to get really creepy, okay? Stop following me around. I don't want to date you, bro. I'm out. What in the world? Who is that older guy following me all over the place? I'm supposed to be busting myths, and that one was true. So that myth was true that this creepy odor is following me everywhere. So I gotta hurry up and go to the next one. Now let's see. So apparently you can spawn a ghost in the museum. Isn't that crazy? Right up here in this room, there will be a ghost. I'm not too comfortable with this one, so hopefully it's not true. Otherwise, that'd be pretty terrifying. But what you're gonna wanna do first is go to the hospital. So let's go there right now. And I'm gonna jump up here on top of this thing and go through the little crack in the window. So you're gonna wanna click this agency logo right there. And then you're gonna wanna go to the library, which is uh, right by the museum actually. So it's not gonna take that long. Okay, so we're in the library and and you're gonna wanna stand on top of this shelf and get up here because there is a secret hidden in the room. So let's jump on this bookshelf and jump up here. <gasps> Boom, and there is a book here. So click this book. Huh, I don't know what it does. It's just a, whoa. Did you guys hear that? Anyways, we're gonna keep going and see if we're actually gonna spawn a ghost. Now we have to go back to the museum and it's time to find out if this actually works. Oh man, I'm so scared. Okay, you're gonna wanna come across the museum to this right here, click on it. Wait, is it not working? Okay, it's working. I had to click on it with the, oh, uh, what the? Oh, it is a ghost! What the? Oh, this is scary, I'm out, I'm out, I can't do this. Who even is that? Wait, I think the ghost was this guy right here. What the, I'm getting out of here. It's too many scary noises, I gotta go. That myth was 100% true that was terrifying so for the next one it's super duper cool we are going to be going to outer space in the brookhaven i really really hope this one is true because that would be awesome so first thing you're gonna want to do for this one is go straight to the rocket house omg and that thing should take us to outer space let's find out let's go ahead and go inside there's a couple of steps to do before being able to start this thing so go up the elevator and open up the door and the first thing you're gonna want to do is go all the way down so go down as far as you can go in the rocket until you get to a room that looks very scary which is this room and then you're gonna click this button here oh it looks like the rocket's getting started Okay, we have to hurry up and go right back to where we started in that control room. Let's go fast because I already clicked all the buttons. Whew. Okay, and you're gonna sit in the chair and all of these buttons across the room, you're going to click it. So we're gonna get countdown, ignition, pad lights, ship lights. <gasps> it's working, you guys. Oxygen, fuel, damage. Um, let's see. Okay, the countdown happens. <gasps> Whoa, what's going on? It says there's I hope we're actually gonna get to go in outer space. How much more time? One second left. Let's go, guys. Um, yo, is it happening? Uh, whoa. Okay, I'm hearing some noises. Um, wait. <gasps> I can see something. You guys. I, I think this is the sky. Maybe it's showing that we're going in the sky. Now it's showing outer space. Are these stars? What? Don't tell me we're actually in space. I didn't bring us. Helmet. You guys, it's showing me a picture of a whole new planet. I think we might actually be in outer space. OMG. I actually want to go back to the ground.
ground. I'm so scared. I'm getting off this thing. I don't care if we're in outer space. Let me out of here. I'm still in Brookhaven. That didn't take me to outer space. I got all freaked out for nothing. I'm out of here. That myth was false. I mean, but it was still pretty cool though. For the next one, apparently if you wait at the bus stop for one Brookhaven hour, an actual bus will spawn. So it is currently 9.07 a.m. in Brookhaven. So we gotta wait till 10.07 and apparently a bus will show up. If this one works, I'll be taking the bus a lot more often. Well, I guess for now, we just have to wait a whole hour. All right, almost 30 minutes left. It's actually going pretty fast. Pretty soon a bus should be showing up. This sounds so cool. If this one is true, I will probably lose my mind. I mean, when the bus pulls up, where would it even take you? I don't know, but I'm ready to find out. We have about 15-ish more minutes left to go. The bus should be showing up any minute now, guys. Okay, just a few more minutes. When it hits 10.07, I'm gonna be looking for the bus. Okay, now, let's see if there's a bus coming. Um, I don't see nothing yet, so this might have been pretty false. Wait a minute. No, there's a bus for real. OMG, where's this bus gonna take me? Well, let's go get on it right now. Yay! Wait a second. It's you. You are not a real bus driver. Uh, excuse me. What do you think you're doing with this bus? Are you nuts? How did you even see me waiting for a bus? Are you stalking me? Hey, mama. Boy, I am not your mom, okay? Don't call me that. I don't want anything to do with you. Why are you picking me up anyways? I'm here for our date. Date? What date? I never said I was gonna go out on a date with you. Are you crazy? You must be delusional, cause I never agreed to that. Yes, you did. Oh, really? When did I agree to that, huh? Please, tell me, I'm so curious to find out. Uh, exactly, that never happened. You're lying, you big fat liar. Go away, but please. No, what do you want from me, okay? Like, what is it? You want money or something? What can I do to make you go away? Just a kiss. A kiss? Are you nuts? No, get out of my face and leave me alone, bruh. Forget you and your bus. I'm out of here. You're a psycho. Why does that dude keep following me everywhere I go? He has some serious issues. Let's just move on to the next myth. Clearly that one was false. For the next one, we will be going to find a zero gravity room. That's right, a room where gravity just doesn't exist. And you're gonna start off here at this frat house. So let's get started. So for the first step, you are going to go inside the house and skip all this stuff and go straight downstairs. And over here in the corner where these books are, there should be a button, it looks just like that. Once you open it up, you go down this little ramp and boom, you are in the first secret room. But we don't stop here. Next, you are going to wanna pull out your laptop just like this. And you're gonna wanna sit in all five chairs until something happens to your laptop. So first it's green. Hold on, we gotta keep going. Um, okay. I sat in all five chairs and now let's see. <gasps> something did happen to the laptop, all right. So then you're gonna come over to this corner, I think, and there is a white button up there. So you're gonna go ahead and click that button and that should open up the next secret room. I think it's on this wall, yep, right here, whoa. And then you just fall straight to the bottom. Now we're in the second secret room, but this is not the anti-gravity room. So then you're gonna move here to this laptop and it even has words on it, it says, Property of the FBI. I did not know the truth in the beginning. They came when I was a child. Whatever that means, we're just gonna pick up this laptop. We're just gonna click on it right here. Oh, and it made a little noise. Okay, so now we're almost to the gravity room, but we gotta get out of this house first. Open up that door again, and we're gonna go right back to where we came from. Now for the next part, we need to go to the agency. And that is all way on the other side of town. You gotta go all the way right here next to this little gas station in the mountain. So I guess let's take a long walk all the way over 
over there. Okay, this is quite the walk, but it's definitely worth it if there's really a zero gravity room. I mean, that just sounds awesome, but we are almost there. So we're passing the gas station and you're gonna wanna come in between this store and this mountain and a door should open up just like that. Now we're in the agency, how scary. So for your first move, you're gonna turn off the light right there. Let's go ahead, click that off. Oh no, it's getting spooky guys. Next, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click this blue button right here on the wall. So let's do that. We're gonna click it, okay. And now this password thingy pops up and the password is Marcus Brookhaven. Let's hit enter. <gasps> No way, this door just opened up. There's a zero gravity room, OMG. So apparently, I guess you could just sit anywhere. Upside down too? Okay, I'm gonna try out all these chairs. This is so wacky and cool. Oh, I'm literally sitting on the roof. Uh, hello. That was awesome, let's get out of here. I'm starting to get a little bit dizzy and this place is kind of scary. Woo, okay, we're out. So apparently you can drown in Brookhaven and that is absolutely wild. Who do you know has actually died in Brookhaven? So we are going to go straight to Lake Madison to find out if that's true. This is gonna be another long walk because Lake Madison is on the other side of the town from where I'm at right now. But if this is true, it's actually really crazy. Okay, you guys, here we are at the gorgeous Lake Madison, OMG, how beautiful. And now it's time to see if you're actually able to drown in here. All you have to do is stay under the water for like 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. Um, nothing happened. So yeah, that one was false because you can't drown. You just keep swimming, I don't know. It sucks that that one was false, oh well. So for the next one, you actually need to stay at the lake because you can drive the yacht. OMG, that's so cool. Your first step is to come to this fire pit right here. So let's go. We're going to the fire pit and turning it on, which is up here at the very top and you just click it and now boom, the fire's on. So apparently after you do that, and you go up this ladder here, you should be able to move the yacht. Okay, we're sitting in the chair, let's see. Uh, Yeah, that was false. It didn't work. Uh, that is so lame. I really wanted that to work. I would have took this yacht all over the place. Oh well, on to the next. So for this next myth, we're gonna be trying to get a flying motorcycle. Doesn't that sound nuts? And what you're gonna wanna do is go to the arcade and you're going to need a friend to help you. So let's go and do that. For the first step, you're gonna wanna get on your friend's back. Okay, this looks really funny because I am so much bigger than her. But then your friend is going to take you to a motorcycle and sit on it. And now they have to try to not move because that will mess it up. And what you're gonna wanna do is teleport to a house. So let's go ahead and teleport to house 12 and <gasps> we have a flying motorcycle. What? And I just got off of it. Oh my goodness. So now there's just a floating motorcycle right here. But I don't know if this myth counts as true or not because it's not flying. It's supposed to fly. <sighs> I mean, at least I got this cool free motorcycle. Yeah, let's go. What? Wait, it's taking me all the way back across. I'm under the map. What is going on? Maybe it is flying. Wait. <gasps> It was a teleporting motorcycle because it just teleported me all the way back to the arcade, all because I sat on it. Okay, that myth was kinda true, but I'll let you guys decide down below in the comments. And if you want me to keep busting more myths, just let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Today is the perfect day to try and get banned from every house in Brookhaven, okay? This is going to be way better than last time. Last time I failed, but this time I will successfully be banned from every single house. And you know how this has to start, okay? I can't just go there looking like, you know, this, because then everybody's gonna just fall in love with my gorgeous face and want me to stay there. So in order to get banned, I need to become really, really disgusting and ugly. So here we go. Okay, guys, when I show you what I look like, just try not to 
throw up, all right? Here it is. This is what I look like, okay? This is the perfect avatar to get banned from everybody's house in because nobody wants this in their house. So let's go already. Enough time wasted. I'm going right across the street. Hey, let me in here, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at my new house. I stay in here forever. What the? Yo, this dude's just following me, staring at me. Does he not care that this creepy little fat... Whoa! That was too quick! I got banned already! I guess he did care that he had a little fat thing in his house. Look at me. I'm not that bad to look at, if we're being honest. I've seen worse. But look, there it is right there. That house already banned me. And I didn't even get to enjoy it for like 30 seconds. All right, let's go to the next person's house. Okay, so that house is mine. So now I'll go over here to this one. Let's see. Okay. Yo, where's the owner at? I'm up in here. Everybody's leaving their doors unlocked. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, I gotta find the owner. Whoa, is this it? Yo, what's up, man? You're not banning me this quick, all right? This is my house. I'm living here. So let's see what I can find up here. Uh, I don't see nobody. Was that really the owner that quick? Yeah, they got babies or something? I see kid furniture. <gasps> There's a safe. I should rob their safe and see if that brings them to come find me. Let's rob it right now. No stopping. Okay, let's see. We put this there and then... Boom! Give me your money! Oh yeah, I'm rich and ugly, baby. Let's go! It's the security detected me. All right, let's get up out of here, man. Oh wait, I can't leave yet. I gotta get banned first. That's right. Okay, where's the owner? Hey, whoa, what is that? I'm not gonna lie, that's uglier than me. Ew! Can we be friends and go into people's houses? Let me think about it. Uh, let me tell them, sure, because we're both equally gross. All right, follow me, girl, because the owner's not here. Let's go into this house. Oh, it's locked. Okay, follow me. We're gonna break in. Don't worry about it. So what you're gonna wanna do is get your sleeping bag because that's the only way to get into these houses, okay? And once we're in, it's gonna be easy peasy. Look, they're trying to block me, bro, already. Girl, chill, I'm not even in your house yet. It's closing all the windows. <laughs> Tika won't get into the front door. Wait, she got in. Oh, I got a W partner in crime. Okay, we're in here, baby. What's up? Oh, oh, I'm gonna get in their hot tub. Look at that. That's nice. Let's go ahead and hit some dances on them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at me. I'm in your house. Wait, she just got rid of the whole house. They didn't even ban me. Are you serious? All right, whatever. Next. That's so boring. How are you just gonna get rid of the whole house, man? Wait, no, this one's locked. Well, I gotta figure out a way to get in here because they got the windows closed. I hate that. Like, how do you expect people to just come in if you got your windows closed, eh? That's just not fair. Come on, let's see if I can get up here. Oh, this is super hard. Well, I'm gonna get my trusty old ladder because it has never let me down before. So we're gonna put a ladder, like, right here. And then we're gonna climb up to the roof. And then, oh, oh, jump over here. Okay, wait, so can I not put this? Oh, I can still put this in there. I don't know why people think closing your windows is literally gonna do anything. It's not gonna stop me. That's for sure. Let's go. Oh, I just fell. No. Okay, back to the ladder. Back to the ladder. Starting over. Oh, back up. Ugh. Look, there go my partner in crime down there. They didn't even try to get in here with me. Why is this so hard? Okay. I'll let you know when I get in. You know what? I'm just gonna ring the doorbell. Let's see if she'll answer that doorbell. Hey, let me in. There's somebody at your door. It's super important. Oh, they unlocked it. They let me in. Yo, what the? Why is it dark? Where's the owner at? Hello? Don't you care that there's a stranger in your house? How are they gonna unlock the door and then just disappear? Hello? Yo, these people just do not care who they let in. Let's see. Uh, oh, hey. I see you down there. You're resting. Wake up. You gotta wake up. Let's go. Get up. Ain't no sleeping. You got strangers in your house. Aren't you gonna do something? Hey, these people just do not care. Let's see if I can blow her up again. Still not getting up. Whoa, no. I didn't expect that. I thought I was okay. I got banned again. Okay, well, I mean... Uh, it's not a big deal. You know, I guess that was my goal in the first place. Let's keep going. We're not done breaking into these houses, okay? I see that I got banned from that one and that one. So we're gonna keep going. All right, I see somebody already put a ladder here, so that was super easy to break into. Yo, what's up, girl? Is this your house? Well, now it's mine. Wait, the door locked. Oh, come on. Let me in your house. You know, this sleeping bag thing is really hard to get to work. Man, hey, can you unlock the door so I can get in your house, please? It's really not a big deal. These people need to wake up. Hello, girl? Girl, like, what's going on? Let me in. Here, I'll bring you to the door, okay? Uh, here's the door. Let me in. Unlock it. I know this is your house. It has to be. Oh my goodness. She must be AFK. How do I get in this creepy, ugly house if she doesn't let me in, man? Everybody 
he's AFK. Look at this. Are you a robber? What's going on? I don't know how I'm gonna get into this house. Oh, it's just taking too long. Yo, don't shoot at me. I don't know you. I'm not scared of you, bro. Okay? I'm getting in. Wait, is this your house? Open the door, little girl. This is not a joke. I will blow you up. Oh, don't you run from me. Open up the door. Okay, fine. This house sucks. The owner is literally AFK. I'll come back when they come back. Time to find a house that'll actually notice that I'm even in there. You guys will not believe this. This is literally my boyfriend's house. What is he even doing in here? Well, this is like a great opportunity to troll him. Let's see if he'll let me in. I'm gonna ring on the doorbell. Hey, hello. My gorgeous love, is anybody home? Your beautiful, charming girlfriend is here. Wait, oh, here he is right here. Like come in your house. Who is this girl? You look like a chimpanzee. Bro, he doesn't even know how to spell chimpanzee. Yo, like, can I come in, man? Let me in your house, all right? I need to get in here ASAP. Yo, let me get a kiss. Kiss me right now. No, don't go in there. I will kill you. Kill me? Bro, you can't kill me. I don't gotta listen to you. If I wanna get in this house, I'm going to get in this house. Simple, okay? So, uh, let me go ahead and just figure out how to get this thing in. He's unlocking the door for me. Oh, yeah, this house is nice. Bro, I don't care about you shooting at me. It's time for me to check this place out. You got a nice upstairs. Ooh, and a nice bed for me and you, baby. Let's go ahead and show my moves. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, all right. Do you like what you see? Uh-huh, this is for you. Hey. Hey, get down from there. Nah, I'll stay. I'm gonna stay because I know you like what you see, okay? Look at me. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Quick question. Do you know where any of the baddies are? What? Why is my boyfriend looking for baddies, bro? Don't he know that I'm in here? I can see him? That kind of means he's trying to cheat on me. Nah, there's no way he's serious. Are you serious? Please, baby girl, just tell me. What? Baby girl, you're calling some stranger with her belly out, baby girl? Are you serious? I'm not telling you where no baddies are, okay? How about you explode instead? And I'm not leaving your dumb house. How could you cheat on me? What the? Oh, nah. Bro just passed out. He said, ouch. Well, that's what you get for being a dumb cheater. I'm not leaving. I'm gonna check out the rest of this place. Since you think it's a good idea to cheat on me, how about you cheat on this? Nah, stupid, you suck. I don't suck, you suck. Eat this. Eat all those explosions, boy. Wait, he's crying now? OMG, I'm so sad. Wait! No! He banned me! Uh, how dare he? First he cheats and then he bans me? Who does he think he is, bro? I'm not putting up with this. I can't believe I just caught him in 4K looking for other girls. I do not like this dude. I'm gonna make him pay for it, all right? I'm going to make him pay. Hey, there has got to be a way to get into a banned house. What the? Wait a minute. Who is this girl at his house? There's another girl in there. Oh, no. Nah, I gotta get in. I gotta get in, bro. It has to be a way to let me in here. He's picking her up? Wait. No, she picked him up. Uh-uh. I can't put up with this. Unban me now. My man is cheating on me in front of my face, bro. I can't believe it. Hey, you. Help me get in his house. Don't just stand there and watch me. He's being a cheater. Look at what they're doing. I can't believe it. I was just trying to get banned from every house. And then I see this mess. Uh-oh, bro. That's ridiculous. How am I supposed to get in? I need at least need to spy. All right, I'm going to put the sleeping bag in there perfectly and see if I can get into his banned house. OMG! <gasps> the sleeping bag worked. I'm in a banned house. Okay, what are, they, what are they doing, bro? I know he's in there with some girl. What's going on? They're in the bed? Come on, dance. He's asking her to dance for him in the bed. What's wrong with you? I can't believe this dude. Wait, what the heck? Oh, who's this dude? Hey, what are you doing? Don't worry about it, okay? I'm spying on people. What's wrong with you, bro? You want some of this? I'll come in here right now. What's up? It's his property. I don't care, bro. You know what? You want your house broken into since you can't mind your business? Bet, I got you. Uh oh I didn't mean to put that there. Wait, get that out of here. All right, Um, let's see what you got in your house, huh? It looks just like his, and it's making me so sad. Because he cheated on me right next door. Right after he banned me. Uh, what are you doing? Well, get out of my house. I own this place now. Just leave, man. Oh, you own this place? Of course I do. I always own this place. I own any house that I walk into, buddy. So, can an owner do this? Do what? Oh, he banned me too. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that. I was first. 
first trying to get banned from every house. Then I caught my boyfriend cheating on me. This is ridiculous, man. It's absolutely insane. I'm gonna just go back to doing what I was doing. I can't believe I actually caught him doing that. I'm so done with him. He doesn't deserve a baddie like me. I'm going on to the next house. Let's see if somebody's here. Where's the owner at? You got a baddie coming through. Let me in this house with you. Oh, whoa. The door's just wide open, huh? All right. I don't see nobody in here. I don't think anybody's home. This is ridiculous. Like, who would not be at their own house? That's just dumb. Anybody could be inside your crib while you're not paying any attention. Like, don't they care? I know I would. Well, I'm gonna rob this person's safe because at least if they decide not to be home, I can get rich because they can't ban me. They're not here to do anything about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm rich. I'm rich. This makes me feel way better after catching my man cheating on me. All right, let's go. Hopefully, the owner don't show up now. I already got your money, bro. Okay, let's see if they got in the back of their house because this house is nice. All right, there's no pool, but there is a hot tub. I like that. Wait, am I? Oh, yeah, that's nice. This is what I'm talking about. Nice and relaxing stuff. Takes my mind off of the whole boyfriend situation. Well, it looks like the owner just does not care about their own house. So I claim this one to be mine. Look at my dumb boyfriend with his dumb band house. Can't believe him. He's such a cheater, bro. He's an awful person. I'll never date him again. All right, let's see. Whose house is this? Hello? Ding dong. Can I come in? Are you allowing visitors? Well, you better be. All right, because people like me need company. Man, oh well, I'm gonna break in her house right in her face because she's not even paying attention. Look, she's just standing there. What the yo, what is she doing? What are you doing, girl? Let's go ahead and hit what she banned me that quick. I didn't even get to do my dance. Oh my goodness, yo, getting banned this often is actually starting to hurt my feelings, bro. They don't give me a chance to entertain or anything. Uh, I'm almost banned from every single house for real. This is ridiculous. Almost every house in this neighborhood has banned me. This one. That one and that one. The only other options are up here. So, ooh, whoever lives here looks super rich. Cause they got a limo. What the? The house? They just took away the house before I could even get banned. That is ridiculous. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do anymore. Where's my man at? Why did he actually ban me, bro? Maybe I should reveal that it was me all along, and he said that dumb stuff right in my face about the baddies, and that I saw him with a girl in the bed through the window. Now I have nowhere to. To go because I'm banned from basically every single house there is. It's just not fair, man. Let's see if the owner of this house is home. Okay. Hello, ding dong. Anybody? If you don't answer the door, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get in, baby. Oh, yeah. Where's everybody at, huh? What's going on? Whoa! Is this a furry or is this somebody's dog? What's going on in this house? Uh, anyways, guys. <laughs> what? No! Uh, uh. get to be in there long enough. I'm just getting banned everywhere. Yo, I don't know what was going on in there, but it was a furry or a human dog thing in there. It was looking pretty sus. So I guess I'm banned from most of these houses, and I think the owner of this house is never coming home. Are they getting a house? Oh yeah. I'm gonna stay right here and spy on them. And once they get their house loaded in, I'm breaking and entering. This time I'm gonna try not to get banned so fast, but we'll see what happens. Okay, their house is loading in. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm getting in there, boy. Ain't nothing you can do about it. I'm in your house. What's up now? Oh yeah, and this one of the good ones too. All right, let's see. Do they got a safe or something? Oh, hey, I should use the bathroom until they get here. It's not like they're gonna care. I'm gonna go ahead and stink it up real nice. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo, it's getting hot and steamy. Hopefully the owner don't come and see me, bro. I don't even think he knows where I'm at. He doesn't even know there's someone in his house making a huge mess in the toilet. I just heard somebody get in the pool. Let's see, are they in here? Oh, oh, the owner is there. All right, let me go back to where I was before they catch me. <sighs> I gotta hide. Okay, whew, I should be safe here, right? I don't think they know I'm here, so I, I could be good. I'm, I'm fine. It's not like anybody ever checks the bathroom anyways. Oh, no, he got in here. Uh, hey, I hope you don't mind. I really had to let this one. Oh, come on. What's going on, bro? Every house, every single one has banned me. Wait, I see a new house. Oh, yeah. Let's go. New house time, baby. It's not over yet. I'm banned from almost every house in this entire city. But we're going to keep going. Okay, let's see this brand new house. We're going to, wait, boyfriend? Wait, where are you going? I got a question. Why you cheat on me, bro? Huh? What was up with that? What are you 
you mean? Oh, you know what I mean. Don't act stupid. You're a cheater. All this time we spent together in this relationship, you just threw it away just like that. Who is this fat fool? I'm not fat, okay? I'm big bowed. And don't you worry about it, ugly. Who is this girl? Do you know her? You're one to talk. You're very ugly. Your mom is ugly. How about that? Hey, baby. You're gonna call her baby in front of your girlfriend? In front of your girlfriend? Are you serious? Put him down. He doesn't belong to you. He's mine. What is happening? Oh, no. Nah, I can't believe this mess. Where are they going? Wait. No, don't go in there. I'm banned from that place. No, get back here. She's taking my man. I cannot believe him, bro. He broke my heart for a second time today. I'm gonna go back to breaking into people's houses, bro. This is not right. Yo, what y'all got going on in here? How's y'all going? Is this like a little family or something? Hey, how's it going? So, uh, what? You too? That's it, bro. I don't think there's any more houses. That might have been the only other house that I could go into. It might be officially over for me, bro. That's it. I'm banned from this house and every house over here and every house in the whole city. I don't know what else I can do, but I got to go and get my boyfriend back. He has to know that he, I know he cheated on me. Where did he go? I gotta find him and let him know that he broke my heart and we're over forever. He has got to know that I know he's a cheater, okay? And he'll never get away with this ever again. Wait, there he goes up there. You think you're gonna have fun at the club, huh? You think that's what's happening? Oh yeah, you buddy, get over here. Get over here, I'm taking you with me, bro. We're out. Hey, babe. Oh, you're still calling strangers babe. Well, wait till you see who it is. I got the perfect spot for us to go. Let's go inside now. Okay, we're here. Listen up, bub. Your cheating days are over. You've been caught. And I can't believe you. I thought you were the one. What? Oh, don't act stupid. I saw you. You told that girl to dance for you in the bed. I saw it all. And I saw you get carried into that house by a girl. LOL, you're chatting. No, I'm not. I'm serious. I saw it all. That's it. Me and you are through, okay? Never talk to me ever again. Sure you did. Oh, I definitely did. And I'm not your girlfriend anymore. What the? What are you doing in here? You get out. Leave my house. Listen, man. I can't believe you. Was I not pretty enough, huh? Is that what it is? I was too ugly for you. Girl. Don't girl me. Just answer the question. You have a big belly. So what? Wait. No. This is fake. This is not what I look like. Hold on. There. You see me now? I'm your girlfriend, you idiot. Oh. I'm so surprised. What? What do you mean? Why are you being sarcastic? I will beat you up. Let's go, bro. Fight me. Fight me right now. You won't. You won't win. It's almost like I've seen your name typing this whole time. Uh, what? Okay, but listen. But you still did all that stuff before I even said anything. So, so you're still a cheater and I hate you and I'm done. Don't talk to me no more. Get out of my house. It was a boy acting like girl, stupid. I refuse to believe that. You're a no good, dirty cheater. Go away. You don't deserve me. Shut up. Uh, ah, what the heck? Yo, what's your deal? You can't shoot me. You are the one cheating. You know what? Nah, I'm not putting up with this. This is my house. Get out of here. Exactly what you did to me. Now you're banned, stupid. What do you want? No, we just wanted to prank you. Yeah, right. I'm not hearing any of this. You're just as dirty as he is. Bro, I'm his friend. Uh, it's a prank. Calm down. Huh? No, it's not a prank. Leave me alone. Well, I mean, at least I got banned from every single house. I completed my goal, but I got dumped in the process. Anyways, this is probably my very last time doing this. It will never, ever happen again. <laughs> All you guys have to do is join Rayla Sean's group. The link is in the description. You can buy her new outfit right here. It's only eight Robux, guys. That's how you get the merch. That's how you wear the same outfit as me. Literally. Today I am going to be getting 
banned from every single house in Brookhaven. But that's not gonna be easy because I do not get banned often. So I think one of the first steps before I try to get banned from people's houses is to make the most unimaginable ugly creature that you have ever seen. Something that nobody is gonna want inside of their house. So let's go ahead and build a crazy avatar. Maybe something that's gonna scare people. Okay, so first things first, I gotta get rid of my gorgeous face. I am so pretty. Everybody's just gonna want me to, you know, hang out in their house. I gotta find something terrifying. Okay, I think I figured out what face I want. Prepare to see something so weird and so disgusting. Okay, I'm pretty sure if I saw somebody with this face walking around my house, I would ban them immediately. I mean, look at my face, man. What is this? I'm scaring myself here. What? I still look pretty normal. I think I'm still kind of cute, so we're gonna go ahead and change this hair to something that'll really bring out the creepiness. I don't know which hair I'm gonna choose, but whichever one I choose, it's going to make this look absolutely terrifying. Oh yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't know what I am anymore. Just a look at my head. This is super, super creepy, but even though I have on this weird hair and this creepy face, I still look kind of cute because it's my outfit. So now I need to find a crazy outfit to put on. Okay, you guys, I do not think you are ready to see what I have done to myself. Look at this. What even am I? I don't know, bro. My legs are messed up. My arms are different sizes. I think this is the perfect way to get banned. I mean, who wants this in their house? Definitely. Not me, okay? So we're gonna go find some people and scare them right now and see if I could get banned from every single house in Brookhaven. All right, it is officially time right now to go find some people who will ban me from their lovely homes. And would you look at this? There is a nice little apartment right up here. Okay, we're gonna go up here and see if this person will allow me to be inside of their house. Ooh, okay, whoa. I have never seen this one before. This looks so good. Hold on, I might just have to live here. This house is awesome. What the? Oh, is this the owner? Oh, oh no. Wait, don't ban me yet. I just got here. Owner, wait, please. She's chasing me. No, wait. Okay, I need to find somewhere to hide. But this place is so small. I don't know where you can hide at. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just keep jumping over all of her stuff until she can catch me. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's see. Can I go out here? Oh no. Ah, stop chasing me. Let me just calm down and ask her, can I live here? Oh, I got banned before I could even say anything. No, look at this, bro. I got banned immediately. I can't go back. Let me just go back and ask if I can live there because maybe if I ask nicely, they'll let me stay. They're not even opening the door to let me in. They're letting other people in, but not me. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that was the first house. I didn't even get a chance to ask if I could live there. Oh well, on to the next house. Okay, let's see who else is in this town. Whose house I could break into and see if they'll ban me too. I knew my avatar was bad, but I didn't think it was that bad to where nobody wants to be a friend of mine. That's okay. We're just gonna keep going and looking for people. Okay, here's a pretty house. Oh my goodness. This place is gorgeous. Who lives here? Hey, excuse me. Oh, let me uh ring the doorbell. If they do not let me in, then I will most definitely be breaking and entering. This person in front of me is here because they want a mom. I just need a place to live, man. Okay, well, it looks like they're not answering the door, so we're gonna go ahead and sneak inside of their house one way or another. And the best way to sneak in is to go through the roof, because who's expecting somebody to be on their roof? Not huh? me, that's for sure. So that's why I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's get up here. Ugh. Oh, too easy. Um, let's see. Okay, I gotta be very careful and like climb right here. Now, we're gonna use the good old sleeping bag trick. Let's see. Oh, wait, I put it way too far. Wait, I can just jump in here? Oh, what? It's too easy. Okay, so now once I get this sleeping bag positioned correctly, I am getting in this lady's house. And then maybe she'll adopt me and become my mom, you know? Man, this is taking forever. Why is this the hardest thing in the world? I just want to get in the house. Ugh. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna give up. I'm getting inside this house one way or another. I look absolutely amazing. I mean, there's really not that much of a reason to not let me live here. Oh, I can see the owner right there at the door. Hopefully they're not looking at any cameras to see me do this. Then my mission will be failed. All right, woo, I'm in the house. Oh my, this house must be new. Look how cute it is. This is 
so pretty. Okay, let's go find the owner. Huh, they're not in any of these rooms. Okay, the owner must still be downstairs. Let me just go ahead and get ready to ask if I can stay here. Oh, what? They banned me before I got to say anything. Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, that's house number two. But I'm not giving up, man. I know I want to get banned from every house here, but somebody's going to let me live with them. I'm not that hard to look at, am I? Come on, guys. Don't hurt my feelings. I'm just your average girl looking for a home to stay in, okay? I'm homeless. I need a family. Look at that. I'm actually banned from this pretty, pretty house. Hey, not fair, bro. If there was a way I could ban... If there's a way I could break into these banned houses, I would definitely do it. Okay. Wow, look at this one. Cool man Trebon. We're gonna break into this nice, dark, and gloomy house. But first, let's see if they'll just let me in and see if I can stay here with them forever and ever and ever. Huh, it looks like there's nobody home. What's going on? Owners, get back to your house. You never know when there's a crazy person trying to get in. Well, looks like we're breaking in it. Oh, wait, who are you? This is the owner? Wait, don't ban me yet. I have something to say. They're chasing me down hard. Okay, I gotta find somewhere to hide. Owner, don't ban me, please. Look, if you're ever running away from somebody and you need a place to hide, just shrink down and stand inside of a plant. There is a no way they can find you. See? Just your average house plant. Now let me get myself ready to ask if I can live here. Okay, you know what time it is. It's time to break in. Wait, where's even the entrance to this house? What is this place? Got the good old bag and hopefully it won't take me so long to get in like it did last time. What the? Wait, they unlocked the door for me? What the? Uh-oh. Oh! They opened in the garage! Let me get in! Hurry, I gotta hide! I'm not ready to talk yet! Okay, we're gonna hide on the toilet. Um, they probably not gonna find me. I should be safe here, hopefully. Man, that was close. I just got in. I almost got caught already. All right, let's go and find them. Hello, owner? Owner, where'd you go? You have a guest visiting. Let's see, they gotta be somewhere upstairs. I just know it. Um, okay, let's check all the bedrooms. And then we're gonna hurry up and ask if I can stay here. If they say yes, I'll kind of be pretty happy because that means I'm not like the ugliest thing in the world. Okay, I don't see the owner anywhere. What's going on, man? Come on. Oh, I see them. Hello. Uh, is this your house? Hey, can I live here, please? Wow, look at this girl. She's quite pretty. But let's see if they'll let me live here. Wait, is this even your house? Because you're not saying anything. Where's the owner? That's who needs to be asking. That's who I need to be asking if I can stay here. Owner, where are you? I'm at your house looking for you, man. Whoa, this person just said hi. Oh, hey, owner. Hey, don't ban me. Just answer my question. Can I live here? Please, I have no home. I'm homeless. Let's see if they're gonna say yes or no. I mean, we kind of have, you know, similar bodies. What? They banned me? They didn't even say yes or no. They just banned me and now so Dang. Okay, well, I guess on to the next house. I'm almost banned from every house in the neighborhood. They can't do me like this. Somebody must want a friend, right? All right, let's keep going. Until I'm banned from every house, I will not give up. Okay, so I'm already banned from these two. Let's see. Oh, another pretty house. Oh my goodness. Anybody home? Okay, so the weirdest thing happened. I didn't even get two words in before the owner banned me. I mean, look at this dude. He's standing right here. Let's ask him again. Uh, sir, can I live here, bro? You banned me without even responding. Let me in. Uh, this is not fair. You guys, is there a way that you can break in to a banned house or not. Whatever, I'm banned. Next, next house. Ooh, I like this one. It's like a tiny home. All right, everybody just leaves their doors wide open. I never do that because you never know if you're gonna run into somebody like me. Oh, look at all those houses that banned me, bro. That's so not fair. Okay, where is the owner? Hello, is anybody here? Anybody home? Uh, might as well make myself comfortable and get in the shower. Oh, yeah, that's a good shower. Where's the owner? Hello? Hey, you. You do you own this place? Oh, they said hi to me. They're being nice. Wait, yo, can I live here? Please, can I live here? I have nowhere to stay. Sorry, no. Well, that's too bad. I'm not leaving. It's my house too now. You should have just said yes. No, you don't. No, she's standing way too still. I think that means she is trying to ban me and I need to find a place to hide like right now, but I don't know where I could hide at. Here's a plant. Oh yes, I'm trying to hide in a plant. Okay, I'm hiding in this plant. Uh, you know, it's pretty hard to see me. Wait. Oh, she just walked in and ran away. She didn't even see me. Guys, I told you, if you want to hide anywhere, hide in the house plant because people never check those. Let's ask her again. Please, can I stay? Where'd you go? Answer me question, please. 
please. Hello? Owner? Wait, where'd you go? I just really want to live here, okay? You have a beautiful home. And I have, like, no friends and no family. I have no idea where the owner went. Why do you think she said no anyways? Like, what's wrong with me being here? She's here all alone. Who doesn't want friends? Okay, well, I'm going to keep searching for the owner because since they won't let me live here, I kind of have to get banned. Otherwise, I might as well make this place my home. Uh, let's see. The owner probably left the house altogether. I can't believe that. Wait, what the? Did she just lock the gate? Hello? How rude. Well, I'm gonna wait for the owner to show back up before I do that house again. Let's go up here because all these houses already have me banned. Man, this is like so easy, bruh. But oh, looking for a mom? Come here. I am gonna be the best mom ever. Yo, hello? Let me in. I can be your mom. Hey, I heard you were looking for a mom. I can definitely do that. Let me in though, please. Hello? Mom, hello? She bullied me earlier. Wait, no. Me? I didn't bully anybody. He's lying. Wait, you're just not gonna let me in the house at all? That's perfectly fine because I'll go to your roof and get in anyway. Hopefully they don't check the cameras because then I might get caught too early. Got my good old house breaking in supplies. Let's go ahead and get inside these people's home. Uh, uh, all right. Excuse me, mom. I'm coming through. They left the door wide open. I don't even have to break in. Let me ask them if I can live here. Look at all these people. Whoa, are these babies? They're so tiny. Hey. Hey, uh, do you mind if I stay here? Can I live here with you guys? Um, what? What's the matter? Can I stay here or what? You have to ask our mom. Oh, oh, okay. I'll ask your mom. Hello? Ma'am. Wait, what are you walking away from me for? Hello? Wow, what? This has a whole family in here. I should definitely be able to live here because, you know, this house is already full. Hey, no. You can't say no. You don't own this house. I want to ask the owner. I have to ask the mom. Wait, where'd the mom go? She just disappeared on me. Hello? Mommy, are you here? Can I be your daughter too? Wait, she just said, can you adopt me? And she said, yeah. So maybe I have to ask to be adopted. Hey, can you adopt me too? I want to be adopted. Oh, wait. Did she just say, yeah? She just let me live here. Oh my goodness. I actually get to stay in this house. She's not creeped out at all. Is my character not creepy enough? Well, I guess I wasn't really looking to be adopted. I was looking to be banned. So yeah, maybe I can do something to make her want to ban me. Let's go ahead and put stuff all over the place. I'll make her house a mess. Oh yeah, let me just go ahead and get it nice and fancy and decorated in here. Let's put the ladder up and let's get some lights going. Man, we might as well throw a whole party. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get the pretty colors on. I think I'm like the best adopted child ever. Um, some dead bodies would be cool, you know. What else can I put in here? Oh, fireworks. That's totally safe. Okay, let's see what the mom thinks about what I'm doing here. Wait. I don't even think she cares. She just left. Huh? What kind of person doesn't care that I'm messing up their house like this? It's ridiculous. Well, I guess that didn't work. I'm gonna have to move on to the next one for now, which is right over here. Oh, wait. Is this place empty? Where's the owners of these houses? Why are they not in there? Oh, wow. But I just saw something great. This is probably the biggest house in this whole town. So I'm gonna go and see if this one will ban me. Otherwise, I might as well make this my own. Ooh, yeah. I like that. I don't want to get banned from this one. I want to stay here. This house is nice. Okay, let's see if I can get in. Oh, easy. Why does everybody just leave their doors open? Do they not know that strangers could get in? Okay, let's see if the owner is home. I don't really see anybody at all. But look at how big this place is. I mean, what else could you be doing besides living here? Me, personally? I would definitely stay. I have to get the owner's attention, though, so that they can come back home. And I know one way to get any homeowner's attention is to rob their safe. But this place is so big, how do you even find it? There's so much stuff. The safe could literally be anywhere. It's just ridiculous. Okay, I have no idea where the owner is, so I just told everybody to come to the North Estate for a pool party. And this person already showed up. What the? What are they doing? Are they floating? What's wrong with these people? Just come party, bro. This is definitely my house and I'm not breaking in. I'm scared. Why are you scared? There's no reason to be scared. What? Are you saying that I'm scary or that the party is scary? Bye. What? Bye? How am I going to get the owner here if nobody wants to party? Oh, they just got rid of the whole place. I mean, I guess that counts as being banned, but still, that's so 
messed up. All right, it looks like the owner has returned home to this gorgeous place here. So I'm gonna go here and see if I can stay. Hello? Can I live here, please? I see you right there. And that's the girl that just said she was scared of me. Let me live here. Oh, he just said, no, I can't live here? Fine, then you sir, are gonna get your house broken into. You see, this is why you just should let strangers live with you because then they're gonna sneak into your house. And who wants that? If I was these house owners, I would definitely let me live here. Okay, let's see if this is good enough to get me in. I need to get into this house one way or another, okay? So I will definitely be doing this until I get the perfect way in. Okay, it took forever, but I finally got one to get me inside. Hey, hello, you remember me? Are you gonna let me live here? Oh, whoa, whoa, that was the fastest I've ever gotten banned. Wait. What? That's not fair. They really banned me too quickly. I mean, if I put all that effort to get inside your house, you should probably just let me stay. I mean, that's just what I think. Okay, let's go back up here to these houses and let's go really check if I'm banned. Yep, there it is right over there and I am banned for good people. Okay, well, time to find another house and see if somebody is gonna ban me from there. Man, I think it really is just my looks and that's why people won't let me stay. If I was a beautiful again, like normal then they would probably not care at all that's okay though you know it's fun being banned i'm gonna go to the next house and do it again i'm approaching a magnificent house right here i've never seen something so gorgeous before oh wow this is the like youtube type house oh and the door is wide open hey it's a lady with a baby hello um just don't ban me just yet okay i just have a simple question ma'am can i live here i see you have a baby and since you have a baby you can take care of me too can i stay with you your house is awesome i wonder if she's gonna say yes or no oh she just banned me instead she said nothing at all these people just are so mean they don't care about my feelings at all they won't even give me an answer they're just gonna say no no matter what oh well it's okay i guess i need to see when the next house is gonna pop up because i want to get banned from there too oh wow i don't know what's going on but this person here might be getting a house oh ew what okay this isn't even a house i want to go in i'm not doing that buddy he can go ahead and uh have that one for himself okay i am back again where there are some new houses and i'm gonna see if i can live with the people who live here i see a gigantic house right behind this thingy oh and there's another big house okay yeah i'm starting fresh now because you know the other people had already banned me from basically all their houses so let's go hang out with these people Ooh, this is probably one of my favorite houses let me go ahead and ask them a quick question can i live here with you buddy i, I see your name is jack can i stay in your house it's magnificent i love it let's see if he says yes or no what the whoa somebody just drove their car all the way here i mean he took too long to answer so i might as well move in and make myself at home what the? He's just shaking his head no at me saying I can't live here. Well, too bad. I'm living here no matter what you say, buddy. This is my house now. It's one of my favorites, actually, because it's just so cute. I mean, look at it. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of roommates here. How could you have roommates? Ah, he's shooting at me. Yo, get out. Stop it. Leave me alone. I'm going to the secret room and living in there. Go away, bro. Stop shooting at me. You don't even know me. Ah. Oh, my goodness. This man's trying to hurt me. No matter what you do, this is my house now, buddy. I'm gonna live here forever. Nobody can stop me. This house is too beautiful to let go. Hey, watch out with all the guns, man. What are you doing? Stop. Owner, make him stop. Make him stop. He is literally shooting at me. What the? He just disappeared. The owner's gone. That was strange. I don't know where he went, but this Jay guy is just chasing me. Wait, it's Jay's house. That's why he shot at me. I guess he really doesn't want me there, but I don't care. I'm gonna stay here until he bids me. Otherwise, I might as well keep this house for myself. Look, he's still shooting no matter what. Buddy, the guns don't work for me, okay? I live here. Oh, he just banned me. Come on, man. I was actually being pretty nice, you know? Okay, well, that's the first one, I guess. Time to keep going. He thinks I'm gonna give up just that easy? There's plenty of houses for me to live in. Ooh, whose house is this? I like these houses a lot. They're so pretty. Hello, are you the owner? Hey, quick question. 
question. Can I live here, please? Uh, why are you shooting at me? Just answer the question, man. I want to live in your house. Uh, look at this girl. She just will not respond. It's a simple yes or a yes. Duh. And why does she have the door locked? And why are these people wearing magic pajamas? You know what? That's it. I don't care. I'm getting in anyways. She must not know that I make the rules around here, okay? And I will get into any house that I want to. So she might as well get used to me because this house is too pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, hello? What are you doing? What are the cops doing here? And she just keeps shooting. What the heck? I know she did not call the cops on me. I live here now, okay? This is my house. Now if y'all excuse me, I'm getting inside. What the? Why does everybody over here have guns? Excuse you. I'm trying to get into my house. Look, somebody left the sink running in there and I gotta turn it off before something bad happens to it. I'm only doing what's right. Oh no, the owner got inside and I'm still not in there yet. And she's just watching me with a gun. Like, um, hello, can't you see that I'm kind of busy trying to break into my own house? Oh well, that means if she's inside, it's got to be unlocked, okay? Oh yeah, home sweet home, baby. Look at this. I told y'all, what? No, I got banned before I could make myself at home. <gasps> Look at my dead body. You know what? That's it. I give up. I'm done. This was such a fail. I'm out of here. Today at Brookhaven, I'm going to be showing you how to go from poor to rich to wealthy using no Robux. So make sure you watch the full video to see how I do it. Okay, so right now I am basically just broke. I mean, this is my outfit. It's all cost zero Robux. And this is the inside of my house. It's just a trailer. Everything is brown and ugly. I mean, I got a shower and that's it. Just that's that in the bed. This is my whole entire house, unfortunately. But I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to rich. But let's go see what everybody else thinks about what I look like. All right, I'm pretty sure everybody is, you know, hanging out in the main area. Because that's just usually where people hang out. So I'm going to go talk to them and try to make some friends. And see if they want to be my friend while I'm looking like this. Where is everybody? Um, okay. Maybe I'm here all by myself. I have no idea. I don't see one person. Oh, there's somebody's car all the way down. Down here okay let's see if they would like to be friends wait slow down oh my goodness hello wait you guys come out what the look at this dude he has on all gold everything and this guy's just wearing a suit okay i'm not gonna lie they look kind of fancy what in the world uh yo what's up i was wondering if you guys would want to be friends and just go hang out like what are you guys doing today whoa there's another one sup guys i bought a brand new lambo Wow, a Lamborghini? That's cool. You're a bacon. No. Ew, are you talking to this broke person? You're poor. What the heck? Guys, relax, okay? It doesn't matter that I'm a bacon. I just didn't want to spend any Robux on my outfit, okay? Listen, we can all go to my place and hang out. Do you guys want to do that or something? I'm just trying to make some friends. This is a rich people only server. How did you sneak in here? What? Place the dumpster? Okay, guys, relax, dude. I can be rich without having to spend Robux like you guys. I just want to hang out the way that I am, okay? This is just so easy and comfortable for me. And that's all that matters. So do you guys just want to go to my house and hang out? I actually want to see your house. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably a trash can. Uh, no, it's not a trash can. Okay, well, I don't have a car, so we're just gonna have to walk there. But yeah, follow me. Do you even know what Gucci or Prada is, Brokey? Imagine walking. I mean, I could get in the car with you guys if that's okay, and I'll just tell you which way to go. Because I see you guys have one more seat, so I might as well take up that seat, right? No, you stink. Walk, Brokey, you smell. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. I mean, just follow me with your car, I guess, and be very careful not to go ahead of me. Otherwise, you'll get lost, okay? You see, these people are kind of being jerks to me, but I still want to just be friends and be cool with each other. So, yo, why are you honking at me? Stop. All right, relax, man. Dang. Anyways, move, brokey. Hurry up. Walk faster. Bruh, I'm going as fast as I can. I'm walking on two feet, as you can see. Like I 
was saying, they're being very, very, very rude, but I'm not gonna take it personal or anything. They just don't understand that you can have a good time with somebody like me. Now, I'm gonna take them to my house and I'm gonna show them a great time. This is how you make me want to be your friends, guys. Okay, we're here, welcome to my house. All right, I'm gonna uh, get this campfire started for you guys. And that way, we could like, I don't know, maybe do s'mores or just chill by the fire and talk in my chairs. What type of house is this? What is this? Bruh, it's a normal house. There's nothing wrong with this. Listen, I could come over here. I could cook food for everybody. Some burgers, some chicken, some steak. And we could literally just enjoy the day. I'm telling you, we can all have a great time right now, okay? I could never be this broke. I'm crying. Bro, this dude passed out on the floor. What's going on? And he's just over there laughing at me. I would cry if I was this broke. It's not that big of a deal. I have basically everything. Look, guys, I even have a hot tub. Don't you guys want to, like, I don't know, enjoy this? Look, it's so fun. Your house probably smells. I have a bigger one. I mean, cool. I don't doubt that. You guys do look pretty wealthy. It's just that I like this type of lifestyle. So, you know, just relax. And I can show you around and give you a house tour if you want because it's really not that bad. This lifestyle is sad. You probably stole this. Dude, this is my hot tub. I didn't steal this. It came with my house. But fine, we don't have to get in there. I'll give you a house tour, though. Give us a house tour, Brokey. It's probably cold. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's get in here. So you walk in and you go to the left. This is my kitchen. I think it's actually really, really nice, you know? Um, I have all the basic stuff that you're going to need. No maid? No butler? What is this? I'm scared. Where's the maid? Guys, I don't have a maid, okay? It's just me, and if I need to do something, I just do it myself. It's not that bad. It's pretty simple, actually. I don't know why you guys are so worried about having a maid or a butler. That's not necessary. There's no security? How do you even protect yourself? Duh, like this. I just hit the lock button, and now there's nobody getting in. And there's nobody getting out. I would never be this broke. What a brokey. Yeah, whatever, guys. It's not that bad because how am I broke if I have this gigantic TV right here? See, this is where I eat my dinner and I can watch TV and relax. I mean, look at this. I think this is pretty good. It smells in here. Open the door. The house door isn't over yet. I'm not opening the door until you guys see everything. All right, this up here is where I sleep. This is my bed. And uh, yeah, it's pretty big, actually. It's a huge bed. This probably has bed bugs. You have to jump to get on the bed. I make my security carry me to bed. I mean, well, it's not my fault that you're lazy. I don't need to be carried, okay? And then over here is where I work. I work from home, right here at my computer. It's not hard at all, okay? And then also, this is where I just relax. I have a bean bag and I have a couch. I'm not lazy if I'm richer than you. What's in the safe, a whole penny? Well, let's not worry about what's in my safe, okay? And over here is my bathroom. I have a really nice shower, actually. But you gotta close the door to use the toilet, so. You must be so broke, why is it so small? I mean, it's not that bad, it just has everything I need. I don't really need anything else. I can wash my hands out here in this sink. But um, I haven't shown you guys the best part yet. You see this ladder? Guess where this ladder takes you? You're gonna have a no idea. It's gonna be so cool. This is my favorite part of the house. The roof, obviously, Brokey. Okay, then let's see. Come up here. Ta-da! It is the roof. You were right. But yeah, from here, you can go down there. Um, I don't have a pool or anything. Just grass and like a shed. But that's good enough. You know, you can always just chill. It's very relaxing. You can look at all the beautiful trees. This house is so ugly. This can't be safe. How do you even have a roof with no helicopter pad? Where's the helicopter at? Uh, I, I don't have a helicopter because I don't really need one. But yeah, we can go back inside now. I mean, that's really all it is to the roof. I'm afraid to step. I feel like I'll fall in. No, it's completely safe, guys. Okay, trust me. It's really, really fine. Are you really this broke? Uh, I wouldn't consider this broke, okay? I have money. I have enough to pay for all of this, and that's all I need. This house is a hazard. It's so bad. This is very broke. Well, guys, you know what? All of you can just leave then if you think it's so bad and I'm so broke. We don't have to be friends. If you can't appreciate me for who I am, all you're concerned about is what I have. Or I guess I should say what I don't have. Get your money up. 
broke you fine we'll leave imagine being broke i'm fine with leaving everybody's just laughing at me and saying they're gonna leave that's perfectly fine by me i hope you guys have a safe trip back to where you came from but you need to just go ahead and remember one thing you do not have to be rich just to be friends with somebody what the why are you throwing money at me dirty house here's some money brokey you will stay broke forever oh i won't be broke forever i'll prove you wrong don't even worry about it just get out of here and take your cash with you stop throwing money at me oh hundred dollar bills brokey you need this i don't need anything from you guys just go i tried to open up my house to these people and they were just so freaking rude and ungrateful like how could you be that way to anybody i was just trying to be friends but no all they care about is money well guess what i'll show them money okay and i'm gonna show you guys that you don't even have to buy anything to be rich these people think they're so much better than me just wait let's go get a new house and i'm gonna make sure it's somewhere right where they can see it so as soon as they come over here my house is gonna be right here nice big and pretty i'm gonna show you exactly where you need to go to get an expensive looking house that doesn't cost you anything at all, okay? You come all the way to the bottom, and there's this awesome house right here. And honestly, this looks super, super rich to me, so I don't know what these guys are talking about. I think this is awesome. I mean, let's go and give ourselves a tour of this place. Look, I mean, the first thing you see is this huge driveway and all of this stuff. I mean, there's somewhere to hang out. Who wouldn't want to hang out right there? You go up all these stairs and go through the front door. It's so good. I mean, look at this. The whole house has just different colors and pretty lights. I have this whole kitchen here. Oh, yeah. You see, it just keeps getting better and better. I have a recording studio. Oh, my goodness. And I have a plaque. This is awesome. There's a nothing bad that they can say about this house because there's just nothing wrong with it. It has everything that I need and even more than that. But I also gotta change my looks because they talked about that too. But I'm gonna show you that you can look good without spending any Robux at all. Just watch this. I'm gonna start with my hair because hair is super, super important. They want something that looks really, really good. Well, I'm gonna pick one of the best hairstyles is that's on here. You see, this is my new hair and it cost me nothing at all. And I'm still starting to look way, way better. I mean, this hair is just gorgeous. It's very long and pretty. And now the next thing you're gonna wanna change is your face, you know, because once you put on makeup, people start to think you have a lot of money. So I'm gonna do just that. Which means I'm gonna go right here and try on some of the pretty faces like this. This is so cute. But my absolute favorite one is this face, okay? It's just un beatable and i'm already starting to look a million times better there's just nothing you can say about me that's bad even while i haven't even changed my clothes yet but i'm still gonna do that too so for my clothes i'm gonna go here and all i gotta do is just scroll and find anything that's just cute and that stands out to me See, right here, I went all the way to the bottom and put on this dress right here, and I look fantastic. Now, this looks way, way richer than I did before, but there's still one thing missing. I need a car, okay? I can't just be walking around the town like last time, because then they're still gonna make fun of me and call me broke. So, here's some of the best cars you can get for zero Robux. So what I like to do is to scroll all the way until you see this red car right here. You see, like, this the car looks really, really good, but it could be better, okay? Because the red just doesn't really match what I have going on. So I'm gonna change it to my favorite color. So now you see I have this gorgeous house, this gorgeous look, and this really cool car for literally zero robux so now i'm gonna go find those guys again and see what they have to say about my new lifestyle because there's a no way that they could still call me broke after i did all of this all right i know they're around here somewhere i just gotta keep looking all right they're not where they were last time so i wonder where they could be i see something up here but um let's see if that's them Oh, yep, I see their car. Look at this. All right, there's a no way they say anything mean to me now. Whoa. You see, I don't even have to say anything, and they're already talking to me being nice. 
Nice car. Yeah, it's a it's a solid gold sports car. OMG, who are you? I like this. Well, you know, I'm just new here. I'm looking for friends and all, you know. And why are you in my car? I don't even know you. Can I get a ride? Um, I guess we can all get in and get a ride. Where are we going? Let's go shopping. Uh, are you a celebrity? No, I'm not a celebrity, and I also really don't need to go shopping, but we can all go to my house and hang out there if you want. It's a pretty nice house, so we'll have plenty of stuff to do. Okay, let's go. All right, so it's straight this way. Just follow me and try not to get lost, okay? Because I know my car is pretty fast. All right, I live straight over here, and boom. See, it wasn't even that far. I'm just gonna leave my car right here. What do you guys think? Do you like my house? Is it looking good? You are so rich. Wow. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait for everybody else to get here before we go in, but I can give you a tour of the outside beforehand. Like, over here, I have this area. We could all just sit back and talk by the fire and have a lot of fun. This house is amazing. Yeah, I mean, I really like it, so I'm glad you guys like it too so far. We haven't even been inside yet. But, I mean, they're taking a really, really long time, so I, we might as well go inside. You're so rich. So much money. Yeah, so up here... Here is where you're gonna find the front door. Just go up these stairs. Okay, everyone, time for the grand reveal. Follow me. This is my living room, as you can see. This house is so fire. It's bigger than our house. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, This is really where I sleep at. That's my bed, and here's my kitchen. You know, nah, bruh. You have a whole recording studio? Oh, yeah, this is where I work. Again, like I said, I work from home, so I could just, you know, uh, make some videos right here, some TikToks maybe, or just film some actual, you know, YouTube videos for everybody who watches me. And it comes with a little green screen. But yeah, that's just what I do for work. Do you make Brookhaven videos? I do, but yeah, that's not the point. Over here is where I like to play games. I love, love, love playing games over here. And this setup costs me quite a bit of money. Fortnite? Yeah, it's Fortnite. You know, I play all types of games. And over here is my second setup for when I have friends over who want to play with me. Wow, how much? Eh, I can't really tell you. It's just a lot, okay? Trust me. This is the most insane house I've ever seen. This house is so amazing. Well, I'm glad all of you have enjoyed, but I was wondering if we could be friends. Because I think we could all have like a great time together, you know? And you guys seem like we're all uh, a good group together. Yes, of course, for sure. Wait, let me talk to my friends first. Give us some privacy. I mean, you could just go outside. This is kind of my house, but sure, have your privacy. Go ahead. What in the world could they be talking about? I thought everything was going good. Guys, so I like this house so much. And I like how rich she is. I think we should rob her. What? Why would he even say that? Why would you want to rob me? I thought we were all cool. I thought I was being nice. And I thought they were being nice too. He's talking about robbing? me yes and we should steal her youtube you see how much money she got let's ask her if she has a safe what the they're in my room talking about all this stuff like i can't hear them they're right there okay so let's pretend to be friends with her first oh no these guys are still so phony what in the world hey so how are you man uh, i'm good i guess what's going on you guys are acting very very weird we decided we want to be friends with you. Do you have a safe by any chance? Uh, okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. Yes, I have a safe, but I'm not gonna tell you where it is. Just get out of my house. I heard that whole conversation you guys had. You're only going to pretend to be my friend because of my money. Well, just get out of here. All you guys are fake. Why not? We're just looking to buy a new safe. That's all. Heard what? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I heard everything. Now get out of my house. Here's the door. All of you need to go now. You guys are just fake and phony. Well, fine. I'm confused. I think you're lying. I'm not lying. And what is that in your hand? Where did you get that? You didn't walk in here with that. Put that down. We would really love to be friends with you. And shouldn't you give us our privacy? You were hearing our conversation. You're in my house. Hello, I told you you could leave. Exactly. You're a fake, phony friend. That's you guys, not me. Get out of my house right now. 
All of you have to go. You're trying to steal from me. Well, fine. I'm taking this iPad. That's not yours. You get out too. I'm not leaving without any money. Is this guy really trying to rob me right now? You're not finding anything. Just go. All of you need to leave and never come back. Get out of my house. You guys are so weird. I don't even like your house anyways. You know what? Oh, what? Now you don't like my house? Sure, I doubt that. I'm taking your car. I'm taking this mower too. Fine, goodbye, leave. All of you leave and never come back. What the? What was that explosion? Where are you guys? Dude, get out of here still. Why are you here? Stop looking for my stuff. You're not finding anything, okay? Will you guys stop being crazy and go home and get a life? You're constantly trying to blow stuff up. Get out of here. I'm gonna get your safe. It's not even in here, duh. Just go away. They're all running around my house searching for my safe so they can steal money from me. But fine, you guys like this place so much? Stay in it. It's what they deserve for being such jerks. And since they wanted to steal my car, I'm gonna trap them in my burning house and steal their car. And not only will I steal their car, I'm gonna steal their house, and now I'll be even richer. I'll be more than rich. I'll be wealthy. All for no money at all, because I am not the one who paid for the house. Let's go and check this place out that they have. I bet their house is gonna be so nice and even better than mine. And since I didn't have to pay for it, I technically still spent no money and became wealthy. I mean, look at this place. It's way better than mine. And that car is way faster than mine. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I have a pool in my living room. I love this place. All right, let's keep checking it out. I have a huge TV, a library, a living room, and a huge kitchen. This is bigger than any other kitchen I had. All right, and now there's more. There's literally three whole floors and a bunch of bedrooms. See, usually I would just have my one bedroom, but they have like three or four. It's all mine now though, so that's all that matters. Even their bathroom is bigger than mine, and oh, look at this. There's a safe. Well, I mean, don't mind if I do, I could use the money. I mean, they tried to do the same thing to me, so it's only fair if I do it to them. I mean, you know, they deserve it. It's not my fault they were some bullies. Oh, yeah, look at that cash. This is awesome, bro. This whole new house is all mine. It has big bedrooms, a pool. I even got some money out of it. It just keeps getting better and better. Like, look, there's a workout equipment. There's a gym in this house. I don't know how it could get any better than this. And I got a nice car out of it. Oh, my goodness, a whole nother bedroom. This is just so awesome. Huh, I wonder if those guys survived that fire or not. What the? Yo, look at these people. What is this? And look at their clothes. Free money, please? Please give us money. They're out here begging for change? Oh, nah, now that's exactly what they deserve after making fun of me for being poor. Now look at all of them. They're just out here broke begging for stuff. And look at this house. I mean, it's even worse then my first house, okay? The one that they initially made fun of is a way, way better than what they got now. Well, I hope you guys have learned your lesson about bullying people because look at your life now. You went from rich to very, 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 very poor. Please give, I'm homeless. Yeah, nah, you guys have fun being broke. I can't be friends with you, I'm way too rich. I'm going back to my new awesome mansion. Have fun out there. Today I'm going to be showing you how you go from a poor noob like me to a rich baddie, okay? But let's just check out just how poor I actually am. I mean, this is my house. House, okay, it's a literal dump. There's fires everywhere, broken cars, and a porta potty. And then look, I have no hair on my head, and my clothes are all torn up. And I'll be showing you how you get treated if you live like how I live. All I gotta do is step outside and find some people and they will show you just how bad it is to be like this. Okay, here go a group of people right here. Let's try to make some friends, but I kind of have a bad feeling about this. I highly doubt they're gonna wanna be friends with me. Look at these people. 
there's no way they're actually gonna want to be my friend but it's worth a shot because maybe i'm wrong and maybe you don't even have to look rich to have friends in here why are you over here old man huh old man bro are you saying that because i'm going bald i am not an old man okay i am a young lady and i was coming over here to see if you guys wanted to hang out ew is that caillou no listen guys oh my goodness i can't even get a few words out before getting bullied hear me out okay i'm new here and i just want to have friends and hang out girl you look insane can i palm your head what stop talking about my head guys don't pay attention to the bald spot okay that's not a big deal listen do you guys want to hang out and be friends or what lol you're a bozo hex no let me smack your head first dude stop talking about my head okay it's not that big of a deal listen there's no reason that we can't all just hang out and be friends let's box old man get out of here grandma your head is so soft imagine being homeless and having no hair exactly lol girl what man okay you guys are just taking this way too far all you gotta do is hang out with me and get to know me and you'll see that i'm actually really fun to be around okay i can be like your best friend ever do you even have a house of course i have a house let's go bro you guys think i don't have anywhere to live that's ridiculous i definitely have a house okay you guys are gonna love it it's really really spacious and it's a lot you can do there you know i like to you know get on my roof sometimes and look at the sun i hope you guys are excited where's your car i, I don't have a car but we're here at my house everybody come on in take a look around i hope you enjoy the place lol what is this trash we walked here is this a homeless shelter the car look her car yeah it, it broke down a little bit ago and i can't really afford to take it to the shop so it's just gonna have to sit there for now it smells where's your bed oh my bed is all the way down here so yeah just uh follow me it's actually a really nice place guys see look at that i have a toilet and some beds and a whole kitchen how are you this homeless it's so smelly because of you um well i mean this is just my life you know it's how i live but this has nothing to do with how much like friends we could be you know we could still have fun here like make uh s'mores and stuff on the fires in the dumpsters or we can even climb up the roof and look at the sky you must be out of your mind look at the sky us rich people go to the movie and fly on a private jet what? well okay i definitely can't afford none of that but just trust me guys this bed doesn't even have foam under it that doesn't matter gosh get some good clothes okay all of you guys are not gonna sit here and be rude to me in my house you have fun staying down there then you bunch of bullies look at them trying to get out maybe this will teach you to be mean to people let us out it's smelly in here hell not until you guys say you'll be my friend okay you gotta promise 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 that you'll be nice to me we're sorry we'll be your friend fine um are you sure do you promise you guys are gonna look at the sky with me sure whatever yes okay we will all right come on out guys okay it's all good follow me right up here this is where you're gonna look at the sky it is such a beautiful night okay don't make me have to lock you guys in here anymore but you see now that you're up here just look up look how beautiful it is we could sit here and look up here and just talk for hours, right? I like it. OMG, so nice. Really? Oh my goodness. Psych, Grandma. It looks ugly. Oh, you guys tricked me. You know what? That's so mean. But I have one thing I have not showed you. Now, this is probably the richest part of this entire house. So follow me under here. And all of you guys stand right here and don't move, okay? Watch how I change this place to look super rich. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is probably, like, the cleanest part of my house, honestly. But unfortunately, you guys can't leave. Since you want to be so rude and not look at the sky with me, you can all stay there. And not only will I be trapping you in there, I'm going to knock over one of these dumpsters, and I'm going to set the whole place on fire. I'm going to knock over this one, and I'm going to knock over this one, and this one all the way over here. It's smoking. We're going to die. That's right. Right, you are you should have been nicer to me when you had the chance then this wouldn't even be happening to you you had all the chances in the world to be nice to me you guys wouldn't even try okay the whole time you just straight up bullied me 
I see the light. Mommy, save me. Uh, let me think about it. Hmm, let's sit down and have a serious thought. Uh, nah, you guys can stay there forever. Pretty soon this place is gonna be on fire anyway. So yeah, this is my cue to get up out of here. Please don't leave us. Sorry, not sorry. I'm out. You guys can have fun in there and just burn to pieces, okay? I hope you have a good time. Well, I mean, at least that should teach them a lesson about being mean to people, you know, and just judging based off of looks. Maybe next time they'll, you know, think twice and be nicer to strangers. But that's not all I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna show you guys how to avoid being treated like that by simply becoming rich. And I mean super duper rich, okay? There's this thing that just cannot be avoided. I'm gonna go from this to the richest person in the city and they're gonna regret not being friends with me in the first place. But first off, I need to get a brand new house and I'll show you the nicest house you can get for literally no Robux at all. This is gonna be so good. Okay, I'm gonna show you the houses that I would recommend that look the absolute best. Um, it's gonna be this one right here. It has so, so, so much stuff in it. And literally, it's not even premium, so it's just free to use. Another one that I would say is really good is this one all the way at the bottom. It has a YouTube setup and everything inside. And it's really, really nice. And my last two suggestions for houses would be this one right here because it has an elevator in it and it just looks so cool. And this one right here because it has an awesome pool on the inside that you don't even have to have premium for. It comes with its own pool and a bunch of plants on the inside of the house. But I am going to go up here and get this one because I have to show you how much stuff is actually in there. And you'll impress a lot of people with it, trust me. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you a tour of this house. It's actually so good. So when you first walk in, you have a computer over here and a really good bathroom. And this is your living room and your kitchen, okay? It comes with a TV and everything. It's a really, really good house, but that's not even the cool part. The cool part is down here, okay? So first off, it starts with a whole basketball court. But if you come over here, you can also change it to a fun house. And like, who does not like that? You can also change it to a pool, but that one costs money. And then you go all the way upstairs in your elevator, and you have a bunch of bedrooms like this one, and this one, and a nice bathroom for people to use. Then you have a bedroom all the way over here, which is like the master one because it has a really cool bathroom with it. And not only that, but your house comes with a hot tub on the roof. And it's completely free, okay? So you don't even have to buy the pool because you can literally just go out here and use your hot tub. Okay, so now that I have a super cool rich house, it's time to do something about my looks. And I have the perfect hack to make you look rich. It only takes a couple of steps. So first off, what you're gonna do is go back into Roblox and what you're gonna want to do is to find a hairstyle that you really, really like, okay? Any kind, it doesn't matter how much it costs, I'm going to show you how to get this for absolutely no Robux at all. Like this costs 80 Robux, but trust me, you're not gonna have to pay that. So let's find a really cute hairstyle that I'm gonna want and I'll show you how to get it in Brookhaven for absolutely free. Okay, this is the hairstyle that I chose. As you can see, it costs 55 Robux and I only have 11. So how am I gonna get this? You might be wondering. This number up here, this really long number, which you're going to do is copy that number and then go back into Brookhaven and then you're gonna go to the avatar edit and click this button right here and then you're gonna paste that number into there and boom I have it literally right here on my head for no robux and you can do this with basically all this stuff so your shirts pants hats hair face and so much more it's literally that easy so now I'm gonna show you how to get a really really cool face for no robux okay so the next thing i'm going to change is this face of mine and all you gotta do is go into one of these masks and pick the one that you like the most and put that on and then boom you're good so let's say i really really like 
like this mask right here. All you're gonna do is the same thing and go ahead and copy this long number right here and copy it and go back into Brookhaven and paste it and then boom, you get the face. It's that simple. And again, this works with basically every single item. So whatever you're gonna want, you can get. Now let's change these clothes of mine. I need to find something super, super cute and rich to make them regret ever being rude to me in the first place. Let's go and find the best outfit possible. So all I gotta do for the outfit is go here and find literally anything I would want to wear. So I'm gonna start with some pants. I'm gonna find like the best pants that I can and wear that. And then I'm gonna find a shirt too. And then it's time to make those dudes regret being so rude to me. Okay, so these are the pants that I want. So I'm gonna copy the number and we're gonna put the number right back in there. And boom, I got the pants that I want. Now it's time to get a shirt and my look is complete. I think this is the perfect one for my outfit. So I'm going to get the number at the top and then it's mine. Now all I gotta do is put the number right there and boom. Okay, I look so good and completely different. But I just remembered that I could also add some accessories if I want to. So I'm gonna see if I can find something really, really expensive to pull this whole thing together. Now, as you can see, all of these are like super expensive. This by itself is literally 29,000 Robux. But I am going to show you that you can also get something just as expensive as all this stuff for free, okay? This is the one that I want and it's 7 million Robux. That is crazy. But I promise that this is how it works. So you take the number again and once you get back into Brookhaven copy and paste it and look I literally have a seven million Robux item and I look amazing with it so now it's finally time to go get revenge on those boys let's go out there and find them so I'm gonna go back out of my super cool elevator and my super rich house and my brand new look and they're going to be so jealous of me but one thing I can't do I can't walk to them okay I need to get a car a really good looking car okay so you can choose any free car that you want but the best looking one to me is gonna be this blue one right here because it looks like a fancy sports car and once you get inside of it if you can you can change the color I'm gonna change it to uh black because that is matching everything I have on right now now it's time to go find those big fat bullies and make them regret ever being mean to me because I just did not deserve that as soon as I see them I just know they're gonna treat me completely different they might not even recognize me but I have to find them they're gonna be around here somewhere let's see oh they're not at the pool anymore which makes sense because it's nighttime but I mean can we just take a quick second to look at how great I look this is like the perfect outfit wait oh I see people up here at the club okay we're gonna go here and try to fit in with the rest of these people so it's straight through here. Let's see how they are gonna treat me. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Everybody having a good time? OMG, girl. Yo. Oh, wait, the club is closing, guys. We gotta go. Girl, I need that. Dang, shorty. Yo, they're all going crazy for me right now. They don't even know who I am yet. What the? Is he okay? He's on the floor, passed out. Why is he shaking like that? Uh, somebody should help him. I need that. I I need her. Oh, nah. He's going absolutely wild. I barely even said two words yet. Um, anyways, I was just wondering if, like, now you guys would want to hang out with me or something. Of course. For sure. Get in her RV. Um, actually, I'm okay. I don't need to get in the RV. I have my own car right here. You know, an RV is just not my style. Let me hop in. Ew, no. This is my car. Anyways, um, we can all go hang out at like my house or something because there's a lot we can do there you got a good looking car but you're a good looking self uh okay these guys are kind of like really really getting weird just get in your dumb rv and follow me to my house okay it's not that far it's right up this hill and we'll be there in like no time my plan seems to be working out perfectly. 
I mean, they seem like they really want to be my friend. They're treating me completely different than how they did the last time. So I'm going to take them to my house and see how they treat me now. Last time they had so much bad stuff to say about my house. So let's see if they have anything bad to say this time. Okay, we're here. This is my house. How do you guys like it? You're rich. Fire. Oh, yeah. I like this. All right. Well, everybody, let's go inside. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this place. I think the first thing we should do is definitely go downstairs because that's where all the fun is at. There's kind of nothing to do up here. My house isn't that fun. So follow me all the way downstairs and we're going to change this fun house to a basketball court because who doesn't like to play basketball, right? Dang, basketball? Yep, I have a full court in my house. How do you guys like it? Let's go ahead and play right now. There's enough room for everybody. I'm not that good, but I really like to play. Oh, I am that good. I just made it. I'm way better than I thought. This shot is for you. Uh, you missed that shot. I don't want that one to be for me. But guys, we don't only have to play basketball. We can also run around in this fun house if you want. It's way better than basketball in my opinion. Like, look at all of this space. We have all this room to run around and just have a good time. So what do you guys think? Are you having a good time? I mean, I did put together this whole thing for you guys. It's so fun. This place is lit. Good, I'm glad you guys enjoy. Would you say that we're like becoming best friends? Yes, baby, it's dope. You're amazing, more than best friends. Whoa, okay, they're getting a little spicy. Come outside with me. Uh, sure, I mean, it looks like everybody's going to join us, but that's no big deal. All right, well, what's outside? Why do you want to go out here so bad? Follow me. Um, okay, I don't know why you want me to follow you so bad. What the, what the, wait, you brought me inside of your RV? Why am I in here? What do you want from me? It's like really, really cramps do we have to stay in here can't we just talk outside hop in the bed lay with me oh absolutely not that's not happening okay i would never lay down in your bed i don't like you like that come on mommy uh yeah i don't know what you were expecting from me but i definitely not doing that i might as well just go back inside of my own house it's absolutely crazy if he thought i was just going to get in his bed they just got them calling me ugly and poor like five minutes ago. Wait, mommy, please. This is for you. Uh, no thanks. I'm okay. Listen, guys, it's been fun, but I just realized you aren't the type of people I want to be friends with, okay? You guys are just really fake. I'm not like those other dudes, but why? Actually, you guys are all the same, so if you don't mind, would you get out of my house now? I'm the most loyal person here. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't care. You guys can go now. I don't want to have fun with you guys. You're boring. Leave this house without a hug and a kiss? Never. Oh, definitely right now. You're leaving, okay? I'm going upstairs and I'm hiding from you until you guys decide to go. This was kind of a bad idea. I'm gonna have to find a way to get out of here without them noticing. First, I'll become super duper small and I'll run out of here while they continue to look for me. Since they want to stay in my house so bad, they can stay in here while it's burning down and I will never ever let them out. That's what they get for being so fake. They should have treated me correctly the first time we met when I didn't have all this stuff. But oh well, I look good and I got rid of them. Look at them all in there burning alive. Ah! Please, mommy! What? Are you gonna apologize for being creeps and calling me broke earlier? I will apologize! Well, I'm not hearing you say anything. I won't let you out until you all apologize. Here, I'm sorry. Save me! Help! This is hilarious. They're getting exactly what they deserve. We're sorry! I apologize! Uh, okay. Maybe I can let you guys out, but before I let you guys out, everybody do a little dance while you're burning. Do a dance now or you're not getting out. We won't call you mommy again. I can't. No, please. Listen, man. Your friends are dancing, so you need to dance too. Oh, yeah. Look at them. This is hilarious. I got them doing some crazy stuff. I burned. All right. I'll let them out. It's no big deal. Come on, guys. Get out of this place. That was so hilarious. Whoa. Look at him. He's burnt alive completely. Maybe I left him in there for too long. Hey, baby. Oh, he's still being weird, dude. 
Stop it already! Since they're dead, it's just you and me here. Why are you still dancing? And just because it's you and me here does not mean anything. He's literally dancing right on top of his friend who got burnt alive. That is crazy. You will pay for this. Uh, yeah, I doubt that. I promise you will pay for this. There's literally nothing you can do to me. Look at you. You're permanently damaged. That's your fault. You should have got out of my house when I told you to. And this really never would have happened if you were nice to me from the start. Well, they can have fun with that burning house. I'm out of here, man. Being rich is just not for me. It's so weird. Everybody acts like a creep. I'm out of here. I am going to become a baddie to troll people in Brookhaven. This is going to be absolutely hilarious. So let me show you how to become a baddie so you can do this too. Okay, so first I'm going to need to change my face because this face is just way too gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to have to change it to, let's see, uh, probably this one. I think this is such a baddie face. I mean, look at her big lips. You know she got lip filler done. Okay, now let's change my hair. I have to have some really good, gorgeous hair. Let's see, a body wood. Oh, okay, I like this one. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, wait, I think this one is the hair that I'm gonna go for. This definitely looks like something a baddie would wear. I'm looking way better already. And now I need to add on some accessories. Let's put this on to cover that big old forehead. And here is the crazy part, okay? So we're gonna go to head and body and go to torso. And you see this hourglass thing right here? I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna change my arms to match it. I think these arms are good. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I am looking snatched already. She is so slim. Okay, but this is still not good enough. I'm gonna have to change my legs and give myself some really thick, gorgeous legs, cause you know all baddies got BBL, so I gotta give myself a BBL. Okay, this is looking good. It just doesn't match. That's really weird. So let's take that off and put this tan suit on. Oh my goodness, this is looking crazy. Crazy. So we're gonna have to cover that up with some clothes. I'm thinking uh, this shirt, but you gotta move it. Okay, that's looking cute. And I gotta find some bottoms. I don't know what to put on. Like these bottoms I have are kinda ugly and they don't make her look good. That's not bad. Okay, we might have to go shopping for a little bit. Let's see, dresses and skirts. Cause I think all baddies wear a good skirt. You know, let's see if this one's cute. Oh, what the? Hold on. I don't see it at all. I mean, uh, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I need her to look good, okay? People gotta fall in love with this baddie. Whatever I gotta do to make her look cute, I'm going to get it done. Um, let's see. This skirt, no, that's really, really ugly. I need something that's gonna suit her. Wait, what about this whole thing? Okay, so I found this outfit right here, an anime schoolgirl outfit. And I think she's actually looking so much better. I might go with this. This is our baddie that everybody is going to fall in love with. I mean, look at her. I also added her some really cute, really long nails because all Betty's got their nails and their hair done and their face done and their BBL done. Okay, now let's go back to Brookhaven and start to troll some odor. Um, what just happened to my body? I joined Brookhaven and now I look like this. This is not a baddie. Nobody's gonna wanna date me when I look like this. I gotta hide right now and fix this. There's something so wrong. I mean, I, I do got like a snatched waist though. It's so cute, but this is not what I wanted. I mean, where's my clothes and my BBL guys? Okay, I think I'll just hide right here and try to fix it. Um, let's see, I gotta hurry. Oh no, somebody saw me. Uh, can I help you? Hello? <laughs> Are you laughing at me, bro? This is not funny, okay? I don't actually look like this. I'm a baddie, believe me. Get in the gym. You look so stupid. Bro, I don't need to go to the gym. I actually look good, okay? So how about you just get off my neck? I'm a baddie in real life, okay? I swear. There's no way you just said that. Uh, yeah, I look perfectly fine. And wait, what? Why are you saying you're a baddie? Because I am. Stay right there, bro. Watch. Just stay right there. Stop making fun of me, weirdo. Okay, now I gotta fix this. Why are you following me? Go away. You're a boy. No, I'm not. Get away from me, bro. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to change clothes. Hold on. Okay, I gotta prove to him I'm really a baddie. Like, seriously. See? Ooh, look at me. Ooh la 
la. I am so cute. He's gonna fall in love with me after this. Um, see? Told you I was a baddie. You didn't believe me. Do you like what you see? I'll give it a good turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm strutting my stuff. I bet you're ready to come back to my place and make out with my lip filler lips. Boy, what? I know. I'm so cute. I surprised you. Uh, what, do you want to, like, hang out or go back to my place? I bet I look like your dream girl. No, you ugly little roach. Roach? Hello, do you not know a baddie when you see one? Look at me, bro. I look better than any girl you've ever talked to. The first thing is you need to get a job. Uh, excuse me, baddies don't work. Do you not know that? Of course you don't. You've never been around a baddie a day of your life. Then how you get money from dudes like you? Now give me a hundred dollars. Hello? You think I pay for these expensive nails all by myself? Absolutely not. And who do you think pay for all my surgeries? Me? No way. Ew, boy, what? I have a friend that will like you. Oh, really? Bring me to them right now. Show me them, okay? I need a new hairdo. And they're gonna pay for it for me. Uh. Oh, don't tell me he's broke. If he's broke, don't even introduce me. I'll go find my own man. Let me find them. He's rich, trust me. He's super rich. Okay, great. You know where to find me. I'll be the prettiest girl in the city. You find me when you get that man. Okay, while he goes to find me a rich man, I'm gonna go find my own, okay? Because a baddie doesn't need nobody to find a man for them. I know there's somebody out here that wants me. I just gotta find them. I know they're sitting around here somewhere. I don't think this dude is even alive. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Okay, well... Somebody else. Hello, anybody? Oh, okay, I see somebody. Let me go ahead and talk to them and say, hey. Hello, is a baddie talking to you? You don't just sit there and ignore me. What the, is that a pacifier? Why do you have a pacifier in your mouth, bro? Hello, is a baddie here in front of you? Can't you see? Talk to me. Wow, this is so embarrassing. I've never been ignored like that before. Straight up ignored. <laughs> Somebody's gonna want me, okay? Let's see. Let's talk. Let's see if this guy wants me. Hello? Hello? Hi? Hey? Hello? You look really, really cute. Um, can you, like, come to my place for a little bit? Thanks! Yeah, you're welcome. It's just that I've never seen somebody who looks as good as you. You gotta come to, to my house. I want to, uh, talk to you real quick. Uh, sure. Good, okay. Let's go. What the? What are you doing here? This is the boy I was talking about. Oh, the red which one? Okay. So then how about we go to your house instead? I'm pretty sure it's way better than mine. I want to see uh, what kind of life you have and see if you're rich enough to buy me a new wig. Okay. Boy, what is that? Uh, do I look like a farmer to you? Baddies don't ride tractors. Get a new car. That's atrocious. This costs 50000 though. He has a Lambo at home. Okay, well then get it. I don't want to ride this thing. It's so bad for my image. Get a new car. Otherwise I will never talk to you again. No, get on that. Hello, last time I checked, you were a broke nobody. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your rich friend, okay? Wait, he just called a limo? Ooh, a limo. I like that. Oh, yeah, where is it? Take me on there right now. See, that guy knows how to treat a baddie, okay? I might just have to marry him and take all his money. So, where's the limo? What's taking so long? Uh, uh, what, is, what is this? And why are you dressed like that? I'm I'm here, get in. Buddy, that is an RV. Hello, I'm not getting in no house van. What is this? Ew, oh my goodness, it's so tiny. What? This is not a limo. What? Oh, oh no. Ha, ah, you're coming with me. Ew, bruh. I thought you said a limo. Do you not know what that is? Because it's definitely not this. Uh, this is a stupid RV for like families. You're officially kidnapped. Excuse me. You can't kidnap a baddie like me. I'm out of here. Uh uh. You're crazy if you think I'm going anywhere with you in that terrible car. Maybe if you kidnap me in a limo, I might actually go. Now I gotta go find me a new man because that one is absolutely out of his mind if he thinks i'm just gonna get with that let's see what are they doing that looks fun i'm up here with you guys oh yeah this looks like uh more my style wait no there's no cute guys up here it's just a clown i'm out of here where are all the cute guys hey you your friend just tried to kidnap me you're gonna let him treat someone as beautiful as me like that hey baby what the who are you can i help you is there something you'd like to say to me i've never seen you around town you look good mommy mommy i mean oh yeah uh thanks 
so much. You do want to uh, come to my house or wait, do you have a car? I should probably ask you that first. Yes, I really want you. Mm. Well, I mean, depending on what this car looks like, we'll let you know if you can have me or not. Is it good or bad? Yes, look. Oh, okay. You know what? This totally matches my outfit. I could be seen in this, okay? I like it. I'm leaving that other guy for you, by the way. You're way more handsome, even though you're missing a tooth. But whatever, I can get past that. As long as you got money, take me to your house. What, bro? Yeah, uh, sorry, dude. You're just uh, not as rich as him. Your car sucked. You know I can't be seen walking around like that. Oh, you're mad? I don't care. Maybe get richer and then talk to me. What the? Yo, he's trying to fight you. Get him out of here. Get rid of him. I'm totally going to take this for a little bit. Okay, you guys have fun. Um, Meet me at my house. It's the really uh, pretty pink one. Okay. Oh, they started fighting. I had to get out of there. I couldn't join that. What if I broke a nail? That would not be good for me. But at least I got to take his car. So cute. Uh, home sweet home. Oh, wait, you're back? Hey, baby. I just knocked him out. <gasps> you're rich and you're strong. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, there's only one thing I need to check out about you. Where's your house, huh? Yeah, don't worry about him. Oh, trust me, I'm not anymore. My house? Oh, you sure you want to see? I mean, yeah, I have to see. If you got a baroque house, then, you know, I can't be with you. So it better be good. Otherwise, you're going to have to say goodbye to all of this. It at least needs to be better than my house. And my house is perfect. Let's go then. Ooh, okay, okay. This is so good. I can't believe this guy really thinks this is who I am. It's kind of weird that he would just, you know, hang out with a girl who talks like this. Very sus if you ask me. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm so ready. Um, wait a minute. What? We're having apartments. Apartments? Bro, do not make me turn around right now with your car. Do not tell me you live in a tiny old apartment. Trust me, you will like it. I don't know about this, man. If you're lying to me, I swear I will have the mayor repo your car. This better be good or you're gonna regret it. You'll never talk to a girl as good as me ever again because there isn't a girl that exists that's better than me. This is a top tier mansion. Well, for your sake, it better be. I only let baddies in this place. Well, I better be the only girl to ever come back in here, okay? I'm the last girl who will ever see this place. Now move out the way, let me see. Oh, okay, a rooftop pool, a huge fountain, <gasps> big TV with a view of the city. You are rich. Okay, sit down, let's talk Um, marriage and money. Come on, come on now, come on now, take a seat. So before I fully commit to you and give you all of this gorgeousness, I need to know, like, are you down to sign over all your money to me and uh, buy me credit cards? And um, I also need my hair done, new lashes, more lip filler, and my nails are getting so bad. Duh! By the way, this is my second home. Really? So where's your other house? Why didn't you take me there? Why didn't you take me to that stupid apartment? You do realize that my time is valuable. I could be talking to any other guy right now, and here I am with you. So you better cherish it. It's way bigger. What? Why can't we go there? You should have showed me. Why didn't you? Because I wanted to be humble. Humble? Oh my goodness, do I look like somebody who cares about humbleness? Oh my goodness, I'm out of here. You wasted my time. You're a dumb jerk, okay? You should have showed me the big house right away. You're wasting all my time. Bro, calm down. You're such a, ooh. Well, um, are you gonna show me your new house? Cause if you do, then I'll calm down. If not, I'm out of here. You're wasting my time. You know how many dudes I could be talking to right now? Bro, let's go get some food. Like, calm down. Oh, no. You're crazy if you think I eat. What? Does it look like I eat? Because I don't, okay? You gotta, uh, you fast to look this good. Yes, how else is your forehead so big? <gasps> no, you didn't. Just say my forehead was big. I put on a headband to cover that up. You know what? You're a big fat jerk and you've lost the chance of a lifetime, okay? You're never gonna talk to somebody as beautiful as me ever. Just kidding. LOL, calm down. Does this change your mind? Does what change my mind? Oh my goodness, the money. <laughs> yeah, that changes my mind. I feel a lot better. You know what? You're hilarious. I love your jokes. Okay, new house now. Show me the big house. This bag of money. Is it for me? If it's for me, then I'll totally marry you like right now. Yes. 
<gasps> wow, you know what? I can't believe you're so nice. Why are you so nice to me, huh? What do you like about me? I like everything about you. You're such a baddie. Well, be more specific. Oh my goodness. What do you like about me specifically? If you can't even name what you like about me, how can I even trust you? I like how your lips are so juicy. Oh, this guy's getting weird. Thank you so much, okay? I paid a lot of money for these lips. What else do you like about me, huh? I also like how your armpits smell. Excuse me? Are you trying to say that I stink? What is he talking about armpits? Ew. That was a very weird thing to compliment me on, but thanks, I guess. No, I smell the flavor. Uh. So, listen. Show me this house, otherwise I'm out of here, okay? I'm tired of sitting here looking at this tiny, crappy little apartment. Honestly, baby? Baby? Oh, ew. I mean, uh, yeah. You want to know what I want? I want you to lay down and kiss me. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm not laying down and kissing nobody. Open this door. Let me out of here. What are you doing? I said I want to go. You've got to do what I say. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, yes, I am. I'm getting out of your dumb apartment. We are together forever. Ew, no. It was just a joke. I don't look like this, okay? I don't look like this at all. Let me out of here. Where's the other door? There's got to be another door. I want to get out. This is so weird. Don't try and play with me. I'm not playing. Okay, I don't like you. Let me out. Uh, this place is dumb. I don't want to be here. Your apartment is tiny and crappy like you. I don't want to be here. And you're creepy, okay? Kiss me, please, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. How about this? Uh, I'll kiss you, but first, let me slip into something more comfortable, if you know what I mean. Nice, that's perfect. Good, good. So I'll be right back. You stay right there. A baddie's got to get ready in private, if you know what I mean. I'm going to get him to let me out of here one way or another. He thinks he's going to get to kiss all of this? Absolutely not. I'm going to make myself look atrocious so he'll get scared and let me go. There we go. That's more like it. He should love this. Okay, baby, are you ready for that kiss or what? Because I'm ready. You know what? I think I love you so much and we're going to get married and we're going to have children. What do you think, huh? No. No? What do you mean, no? Come here. Give me some kisses. Mwah, 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 mwah. Why don't you want to kiss anymore? I thought you were just all over me. All I did was take off my wig and makeup. I've never been so disgusted. Huh? No, what's the matter? Come here. You didn't want me to leave, and now I'm here forever. Where are you going? Come here, snooches. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. Don't leave. Stop running away from me. Don't you want to be with me? I thought you said I was a baddie. How did a boy sneak in my house? I'm not a boy. I didn't sneak in here. I just took off my wig and my makeup, okay? It's me. Don't you recognize my voice? I'm a baddie. Oh, no, this is weird. Oh, wow, you're so mean. I guess I'll just go if you let me out. No need for me to stick around here. I mean, from you? Just give me one kiss. And, and then I'll let you go. Uh, are you serious right now? You want a kiss from this? You're kidding. Yes, I mean, since I know that you're really a baddie, just need some makeup. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a baddie, okay? To be honest with you, I'm just some random guy who snuck in here. That other girl snuck out the window, okay? Um, I'm a, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. You wanna kiss me now? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm totally one of the dudes, bro. I tried to dress like her, but you got, I guess I don't got the, uh, looks for it. I don't believe that. Take off your, never mind. Yeah, bro, so I'll just be uh, on my way out of here now. You think you'll let me out or what? Honestly? Oh no. You shouldn't go in public looking like that. Uh, don't worry. I do it all the time. Now just let me out of this stupid apartment. But sure, I don't care. Great. Open the door. Please open it right now. I want to go. Oh yeah. Freedom. I'm free. That's right, everybody. The baddie is on the loose. Okay, I'm taking this car. <gasps> no, it's locked. 
I gotta get a car and I gotta go home. All right, I'm out of here. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Okay, now I can stop looking like this hot mess since I'm out of his apartment. I will avoid that guy with everything it takes because that was even creepier than what I was doing. Oh yeah, okay, so now I get to finally change. Let's go ahead. Now nah, I'm gonna take a bath. Let's go ahead and run my bath water. Let that fill up and I'm gonna get back to looking gorgeous again. What the, not my doorbell. Who could it be? Okay, one second. Wait, what the? Who is that guy? Excuse me, could I help you or what? I'm kind of in the middle of running some uh, bath water. We know you're the baddie. Excuse me. No, I am not. We found you. We're at your house. Uh-uh, buddy. Okay, I'm no baddie, obviously, as you can see. Now, if you don't excuse me, I'm gonna go back in my house. Yes, you are, and guess what? I don't care what you say. What? What are you talking about? We all know that truth uh what's the truth what do you mean uh, dude just go away or i'm gonna call the cops the truth is you're a odor and odor i'm not an odor what are you talking about you're out of your mind if you think that's me okay listen i seriously gotta go back to my tub because it is a running a lot of water right now we will go in there with you don't worry about it what no get out get out of my house and get away from my tub bro you have no business being here let me turn this off yo get out of my house all of you i don't want you here please i'm not a baddie i promise i'll never dress like that ever again what are you doing in my tub get out of there this is so nice what the why are you dancing guys stop it i'm out of here bro i'm not a baddie okay i gotta go this was a big big mistake never ever troll odors as a baddie they're so creepy this was the worst mistake of my life